Yeah, good catch. I had my channel up and I was trying to redirect everybody to geeky antics. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I, I gotta find a way to simulcast hmm. on geeky antics as well. Now it says you're live. Oh, there we I'm go. Saying, like, I didn't do anything. I, I was on the right channel, by the way. Just saying. So I wasn't showing it live. That's weird. I don't know. It happened. It happened to us too. I I had to refresh. I had to refresh our our Twitch channel before it would actually put us make us live. I don't know. Uh oh. Don't okay. don't do uh oh. No, no, we, no there's no, no uh ohs here, dude. Don't. <laughs> I I almost did something bad. Okay, cool. So I see I see the welcome to horse play starting in a few moments. Q. Q Q. All right, test test test. Excuse. One, two, doing some sound checks right here on Geeky Antics for Horseplay Live, which will begin in a few minutes. Uh, not, so not Panda. How are we sounding? How am I sounding today? As far as I know, you sound good. Let's see what, what Panda says. Dum, 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 dum. I actually have that song. Did you hear the episode where I put it on? Yeah, you're on uh, Zombie Cast. And you're like, hey, I got the Jeopardy song. And they're like, play it up. <laughs> I did that one of our episodes, too. Because right. it was like a long, like, pause when I asked the question. And like, okay, I'm going to definitely edit that. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, here. All right. Show notes are good to go. Give another one silver. Cool dealio. We're going to go light again on the news, but uh, unless Chris has something he'd like to throw in, then we can do that. Definitely. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Throw rough, rough, whatever. rough script for the Thrones, Jeff, I have a good chance. I'm going to show you how to out Chris and his questions for Twitch. We're going to show you news. <laughs> oh, you're going to walk He's getting the welcome kit now. Oh, finally. <laughs> Didn't he get it like two weeks ago? No, I, I'm not, not reading the welcome kit. It's his intro, Welcome Gamers and Geeks to the Horseplay Live. Oh, yes. And then yes. there's all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. Oh, the part that you have to worry about is that starting where it says obligatory news and downwards are quote-unquote segments. Hey, hey, Chris, that's my line. <laughs> We're gonna cue up the music and Chris is gonna be like, Welcome everybody to Horseplay Live! I'm exactly. just gonna cut you off, Moby. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That, that, now I know that, though. I mean, no, what are you talk? I, I know it now, though. I mean, you, I know that you're gonna cut me off, so we're good. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Game and Death taking over this shit. <laughs> this is Game and Death Podcast, episode 101, part 2. We're going to have bunch of dicks dropped on our heads. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, oh, I there's don't... Wolf. Hey, Wolf. How are you doing, hon? How is... Uh, anybody can give, anybody give me an update on my uh, on my audio? Does it sound a lot better this week? I did some test streams. Uh, I did a test stream or a test recording earlier, and it was just nice. So. I am like delicious right now. Wow. I'm loud. How am I loud? Or is it me? Am I the one that's loud? No, it's Yogi, but I just thought it was because it's that way every week. I don't, you know, I don't even bother with it anymore. I just listen to it, whatever. Because every time that I say it's loud, everybody else is like, dude, you're stupid. It's not loud. You know, so I just, I deal with it. Huh? Oh. Yogi's just loud. Okay. <laughs> He's it might be on, uh, not Panda, on Skype. Just... Not Panda said you're loud as dicks. Test, test, test. Test, test. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not that close. It's over yeah, here. You, sa you sound a little muffled to me, too. You, you, I told you, Stan. Like to that's what I wanted to talk like. to you about today. I was going to say, hey, Stan, come on up here. I want to show you something. We got it, big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should have Stan on the show. He hasn't been on. I know he hasn't been on in a while. A couple weeks, man. He, him, and uh, and Kitty were your. I know. Were your stand-ins when you were gone. 
I know. For, t- for, two, for two years. Trey, you're just dragging your feet through the desert. Looking for that coke. But you never found it. So sad. I'm good. I'm good. You guys ready? <laughs> Yogi Zilla is hot, but never bothered. Thank you for the donation. For the donation. No, thank you for the donation, Stan. We got blue cam because of you. It's going to be a thing. Huh? Yeah, Stan uh, donated uh, a, a, a very expensive camera so we could have... Uh, Blue cam when we do streams, not for Horseplay Live particularly, but for other stuff maybe, because Obi's anti cats. Oh, blue as in B L O O, your cat. Got it. I was like a blue cam. What the hell is a blue cam? <laughs> I can tell you, dude. Blue cam we can is. get get blue cam get, get get blue's cam up, dude. I'll put it on Horseplay today. Fuck it. Oh, it's not set up yet. There's uh, logistics issues with it. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I told I was telling you earlier. There's some driver issues, and it actually caused um, this camera to stop working. So I said, oh, I'll mess with it later. I have to get it on a different root hub and install all kind of software to get it to work just right. They start fighting each other. All right, let's do this. I think we're about ready, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zilla. All right, so let us know when you're going to do the music. Right now. So we'll mute. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. All right. Here we go. There's that. All right. You guys see me? Minnan says she can purr. Oh, yeah. Stan is also mostly anti-cat. But he likes blue, so that's cool. Oh. Okay. Five, four, three. And welcome back. This is Horseplay, episode 27. Welcome back, geeks and gamers. This is Horseplay Live. Today is June 19th, 2014, and this is episode 27 and entitled Just Hanging with 50% of Gaming Death. That's actually not quite there. We're at about 25%. But welcome, Chris Gannon, to Of Gaming Death podcast. Welcome to the show, sir. And of course, I am always joined by that crazy Puerto Rican bear lizard right over there, Yogi Zilla Wasabi. Oh, hello. I have uh, super duper lag tonight. So, uh, yeah, I might uh, die in the middle of this podcast. And then I'll be resurrected. Well, it was it, it's too bad all because I had really bad lag last week. There you go. There's some bad juju in there. And there's also a storm coming in, so... So I, I the good thing is Chris I hear like specializes in healing classes, particularly cleric, uh, white mage, or uh, paladin. So we're we're covered. Sometimes he does tru- druid as well. So we, 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 I feel I feel confident that whatever happens, Chris will help us uh, mend. Definitely, definitely. Chris, are you game for that? No, I don't play. I'm, I'm DPS class all the way, man. <laughs> That's why it's funny. I'm a, I'm a tank class, and I, I mean, I used to, I used to like healing classes, um, but now I, I want to get in there and just, I don't know, be the meat shield, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. I'm too dumb to do anything else but press one a bunch of times, and then two, and then when three props, <laughs> press three. Yeah, of course, you know, and then if you have a Naga, you just go one, two, three, and then you make sure that one of your buttons are on 12, which you can never hit because your thumb's weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. 
We talk about random crap all the time. What happened in the past week, guys? Yogi? Me first? Oh, gosh. Oh, you yeah. really want to do that? Let, yes. let, let Chris go first. Because you know I'll go on and on. Well, I got Chris. I'm, I'm going to let Chris go first on another one. So uh, what did you do this past week, buddy? So I guess I might as well come out with it now. Um, we've, we've talked about We've been teasing it for a long time about the new Geeky Antic site. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm, um, you know, me, me and Andy, you know, Spaffy Zilla, we finally said, all right, I think this needs to come out. I keep, I kept putting it off. I said, you know what? It's in beta right now. But it's pretty much live. So start going. Everybody start going over to geekyantics.com. If you go to geekyantics.net, it will tell you to go to geeky Ant to the new site. And we're gonna start tra transitioning everybody over. We still have a bunch, about a hundred or so subscribers that need to move over to a new site. So we're gonna try to make the transition as smooth as possible. At, but on the beta site, geekyantics.com, we got forums that we're working on. We got achievements. We got a, a really sexy podcast page that puts all the feeds together. It's all professional like the Twitch stream. You can see it live on there. I might set up uh, a little our own little chat box on this. So we're not so dependent on Twitch. Maybe a shout box. You know, all kinds of neat little things are over there. Um, we got all kinds of social features. I mean, it's it's coming along pretty darn well. We even have a, a schedule, so you can see all the shows that we're doing, all the shows that we're syndicating, mm -hmm. all the shows that we love and support. You know, including the stuff on all games. You know, all our friends over there. So it's 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 pretty it's, it's coming along very well and uh, I would say right now it's at like ninety percent done but it's definitely usable and stable so everybody start to start playing with that geekyantics.com and uh, leave some comments share pimp it out invite some friends because it's all gamified you get points for doing that stuff definitely definitely I actually seen it the other day uh, when you said hey go check it out and. And uh, I still posted something on the old site, so uh, we got that taken care of. I, I, I do believe I did post that again. Um, what about you, Chris? What you been doing the last week? Laying on my back. Mhm. Mm mhm. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I got into a work accident like two weeks ago, and found out yesterday for one hundred percent positive that it's a herniated disc. L five. Yeah. So that's pretty. Pretty bad. So I've been doing nothing but playing lots and lots of video games and watching lots and lots of Netflix. <laughs> Living the dream. Right? Did I did I just kill Bobby? I think I just killed Bobby. I think it took a really big hit on the e cig and then laugh at the same time. Not a good combination. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> but in all honesty, like being out of work, it's it's quite easy to realize like. I never knew how boring just sitting around doing nothing is. <laughs> There's only so much like video games and Netflix I can watch and, and articles I can half write and then give up on. <laughs> mm. That's a fair point. I think when you when you work from home or you spend a lot of time sitting down, you have to find ways to regiment yourself, but not kind of break up the mon mundane, you know? So like I, I switch it up a lot, you know, and I switch and switch the scenery. So it's like, all right, I've been sitting on the computer too long. Now I'm gonna go outside in the backyard and and work from there. And I'll sit on the throne and work from there, or play some games from there. <laughs> that's yeah, what, you're, that's what your iPad's for, isn't it, yo? I mean, play some oh, games yeah. from the throne, exactly. And I got the this the they have this new thing like a gel skin for it that keeps it sterile. So if anyone worries about poop particulates while they're you know in the on the throne and you know gaming on their iPad, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's it's completely clean. You could you could perform surgery on the iPad with that with that gel skin on it. Well, I'm st I'm getting stir crazy though because I can't leave the bed really. <laughs> so I'm start I'm starting to make little paper dolls of all my friends. So I think next is like an Obi and a Yogi paper doll is what I need. And they can sit on my bed with me and play video <laughs> games like Zelda. Yay! <laughs> Multiplayer Zelda, is that even a thing yet? Oh, well, uh, we got the Legends of Hy or what is it, Hyrule Warriors. That's what it is. I would say mm -hmm. Legend of Zelda. I I'm playing Legend of Zelda that came out in 1987 here in the States, 1986 in Japan. Mm. <laughs> I just played the, the original. original. NES. This will be oh, yeah. if we have a dust off today. I, I actually played some of the uh, the original Super Mario Brothers uh, yesterday. 
Um, yeah, I don't ever want to do that again. Sucked. <laughs> when I can look mm. at a game and I can actually see the boxes that the guy's made out of, no, I'm good. <laughs> I done, done so good. But um, you guys do know, uh, right here on Geeky Antics, we actually launched the uh, the Sunday Dose this past Sunday. That, yeah, I'm glad it was episode zero because it was really, really rough. Yogi, I, I know for a fact that he goes, you want to just run a zero zero? We can do a double zero episode if you want. No, no, let's keep, let's just start going. So be looking forward to that. It's 9 a.m. Sunday morning, Eastern time. And I know Yogi's got a, quite a few things he does on the weekend with game plays and, of course, the Retro Friday thing that he's doing. If you are new to Wars Play, what's up? Horseplay Live rocks out every Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time on Twitch channels Geeky Antic, which is right here, and Yogi Zilla. Last week we launched on Geeky Antic's channel. Since stuff was happening, we went and it went well. I mean, you know, it was awesome. Actually, it was a previous week before that. Yogi just didn't delete everything. Was, I asked him if he missed me last week, too. So, <laughs> he's just looking at me right now like, what? What are you talking about, man? Horseplay is on all games Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Currently opening up for B-Team Podcast. Okay? Um, now, just remember that there is a new show coming in at 7 p.m. So, it will be opening up for them, and then they're opening up for B-Team. And the B-Team's opening up back up for us again on Thursdays. But, on the other hand... We do have Chris Gannon in here, uh, like I said before, of the Gaming Death Podcast, which is at 9 p.m. on Geeky Antics. Or Ooh, the Twitch on, you know, it's Gaming Death Podcast. Is it is it Gaming Death Podcast on Twitch? Is that the full name? No, it's twitch.tv it's twitch slash Gaming Death. It's, no okay, Gaming Death is the Twitch channel, guys. So go check that out at 9 p.m. Um, he does usually simulcast on Geeky Antics right here, but he had some issues with his hard drive of his computer, his laptop, all that. Yeah, it just didn't happen today. So, but be, make sure you guys check that out Thursday starting at 5 p.m. Eastern time right there on All Games and then right here at 11 p.m. live. So let us know. Just, Go ahead. Just just a little little warning. We swear a lot. I know you guys are, are don't swear as often as we do, but we swear a lot. Just a warning to your listeners. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> if you don't like swearing and cussing, that's probably not the show for you. Uh, <laughs> no. But don't forget to tweet <laughs> us throughout the show and, of course, throughout the week at OB1X2, at YogiZilla, at Geeky Antics, and, and, and Death, what is, your t what is your Twitter so we can get that out real quick? I didn't write it down. At Death of Nation or at Gaming Death. At Gaming Death. And at Death of Nation, right. you guys can hit one of those two. He'll get them both. You can join our main live chat hub right here on Geeky Antics on Twitch. Last but not least, join us at our official HQ, geekyantics.net. Comment, share, and party with us, guys. Our team is working very, very hard to get you some awesome content out. You know, we have blogs. We have video posts. We have the, the shows like uh, uh, Horseplay. Uh, I believe do you put horseplay on there, Yo, or is that just uh, is exclusive all games? Oh no, yeah, we're 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 still geeky antics. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, guys... all games doesn't lock you down to any exclusivity, which is great, that's, and that's the same thing we do too. Okay, um, but you guys just want to make sure that you guys do check us out. It is, I mean, we're. Uh, and I'm not see we I just started in this thing with the uh, time management, but Yogi's been working his ass off getting everything done. We got a new beta website coming out really, really fast here, and you know Yogi's just the man, just because of what he does. Yogi, you got any uh, any uh, latest content for our uh, for Geeky Antics up? So yeah, I guess just to reinforce what we said earlier, mm -hmm. uh, geekyantics.com. That's the beta site, and we're gonna just transition everything over to that. So I think from now from now on. Any new posts are going to go there. So geekyantics.com where you want to go, and eventually the geekyantics.net will point to the site that's currently geekyantics.com, if that makes any sense. And the old wordpress.com website will still keep it, will be there for sentimental purposes. But, uh, yeah, new, new content should probably be coming out this weekend. I know Stan is working on some Hearthstone stuff. Um, he's, we're going to show off uh, these new pillows he got, Hearthstone pillows. As door prizes for our upcoming Hearthstone tournament, some other other goodies we got coming. Uh, 
There's a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm not, I'm gonna just stop right there. But uh, yeah, keep checking. Check back this on on the site daily because we have. I'm doing updates to it constantly, uh, promoting other Twitch streamers, uh, podcasts that we're syndicating or just love. You know, uh, we're collaborating with other networks, with other podcasts, other streamers, other other YouTubers. A lot of big things in the pipelines. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. You guys can also voicemail us or fax us at 206-415-4987. If you don't like hearing your voice and you're kind of shy, that's not a problem either. You can also email us at mail at geekyantics.net. Uh, we'll play and respond to your messages live. So if they're good, please send them in and we'll just, uh, if you guys have a question about maybe in a show in two weeks, no problem. We'll get it. Make sure we read that uh, email or play the voicemail. Try to get it played on that show. So then it's, you know, of course it makes sense, really. Tonight on the show we're going to have, we're going to be hanging out with Chris, of course, from Dick Gaming Death. Send him some questions, guys, via Twitch chat. Or you guys can even call in right on the voicemail line. If we have enough time, we'll do a little bit of a, two somewhat big topics tonight. Uh, we're not. We're gonna just try to have some fun and hang out a little bit, because I know uh, Chris has a little bit of a back issue with his, with his dick. So we don't want to keep him too long. But of course, we always love him on the show. Right into it, Yogi. The obligatory news. Already, man. Yeah. So yeah. So, so, <laughs> so recapping what we shared on episode twenty-six. Uh, fireside gatherings still going on. And I, I still feel like we really need to get up on this. Uh, now, I think we covered the rest of this stuff, but I do want to reinforce um, the whole bit about Microsoft doing the refunds for Xbox Live due to the restructuring of how their service works. Um, so if you want to find out how that works exactly and get your money, I mean, there's money on the table, why not? Uh, go to support.xbox.com and check out the FAQ, the Xbox Live frequently asked questions and it explains what they've changed to xbox live to open up some more and kind of give back to people so they'll quit their whining <laughs> definitely i think it's good i think they're doing right by people they you know they made their mistakes but they're, they're making amends for it and blue is up and about to climb on my back oh yeah but the, the big news really this week that everybody's kind of talking about in gaming is, uh, you know, the whole thing about Capcom. And some people are like, is Capcom dead? Or, oh, did they, are they selling off? And they're kind of blowing out of proportion. What, what the news really says, you can see uh, GMA Network covered in a bunch of other places. They, they put more details into it. They're not necessarily selling off. What they did is they blocked, they did not vote on the policy that prevents them from being taken over or sold off. Mm -hmm. So basically, the shareholders flexed their muscles and said, hey, we don't like the pace that Capcom is going at, or the, the progress that you've made, or lack of progress thereof. So we want to see results, so we're not voting to put this policy back in effect. It's like, uh, what do they call it? Uh, I think the exact term, uh, takeover defense. That's the, mm. that's the term. Okay. They voted, they did not vote for that. So there's no takeover defense in place. That means they, they do have the option to sell off. Um, and it could be, you know, part of me thinks they might have to do that and go into a company, go with a company that could pump some money into their projects. Ideally, if that happens, I think they should still maintain the Capcom brand and then be able to be autonomous. Yeah, she's getting me. But, uh, but, but, you know, have that, that financial backing. That'd be the I ideal situation. Or if miraculously they just realize we have all these awesome franchises let's develop some games that make some money and bounce back i mean that's probably not going to happen i mean they're sitting on so many great ips and it's like what they're not doing anything with it Meow. but um uh, so we'll see what happens with it i mean they, they got ton, a ton like when you really start to think about it, it's not just resident evil and street fighter and mega man there's tons of other things that that capcom has been that has done you know i mean for a long time, people have been talking about a, po a possible Power Stone coming out, a new Power Stone coming out. I mean, I know it's been a long time, but you know they have so many uh, things they could work with, and they just kind of let them rot, you know. So we'll see what comes to that. What do, what do you think about it, Chris? I don't think that Capcom's going anywhere. In all honesty, 
Um, this whole thing just means that a company can come in and buy them now. They don't actually have to sell off. If a company did, decides to buy at 51% of the stocks, then they own majority stocks Capcom. Uh, the company itself won't, it won't do anything to the company itself. Um, and right now, the two big names that are getting thrown around uh, may buy Capcom is Nintendo and Microsoft, like the two big names that we're hearing. Um, mm. What that... My thing is, like, I'd really like to see them go to Nintendo, but what does that mean for the future of Street Fighter? Because I just don't think the Wii U is where it's at to play <laughs> a fighter like Street Fighter. But, like, if Nintendo were to get them, you see Monster Hunter right now is basically exclusive to Nintendo. Um, what they're doing with Mega Man and Smash shows that Nintendo knows how to treat what Capcom does. And mm-hmm. it's just, I think that that's a way to... You know, inject some more capital into them with soft buying them though. Lose or Hunter, uh, Mega Man's gonna get more gritty and weird, and uh, but uh, stuff like Dino Crisis and, and Onimusha and you know, rival schools which we haven't seen since the Dreamcast. Mmm. Yeah. So that's what I mean. They have so many great intellectual properties and it's like the uh the, the possibilities they have open to them and i think they've been playing it too safe I, I think that's been their issue they've been playing it too safe and just kind of relying on a few of their franchises instead of you know doing a little fanfare you know why not pander a little bit it's fine no shame in that but yeah i, I agree actually maybe the best approach within those parameters would be Maybe they provide some exclusives to Sony, some exclusives to Nintendo, some exclusives to Microsoft, and they can just kind of, you know, kind of hedge their bet that way. Because yeah, Lord knows, every each one of the platforms needs exclusive games. Though Nintendo probably, sadly, has the most exclusive content right now. That's always going to that's going to stay exclusive for the foreseeable future as well. Well, that's because Nintendo's been around for twenty more years than everything else. Yeah. I mean, that's why they got so much more exclusive content. Wait till Xbox and PlayStation. They're all around for another 20 years, I guarantee. Their exclusive content's going to outrage the freaking Nintendo. Not outrage, but outrange is in more. But I don't... That's the only reason why they got so much exclusive content, in my eyes, anyway. Go ahead, sorry. No, it's true. I mean, they've, they've, they've had a longer run. Uh, on the flip side, if you speak about it relatively, you know... They should have a lot more given their history. <laughs> you know, it's like they're just relying on the small, stable, you know, Mario, Zelda, and Metroid. Which I love each of those matches, especially Metroid. I, Metroid is like someone asked me on, uh, I think it was on, was this, I think it was Stan Farina actually asked me. He said, what, uh, it came out of nowhere. He was like, what's you, one of your favorite, or your favorite, like he, just, you know, he was like, what, what are your favorite video game characters? And the first one that came to my mind was Samus Aran, you know. Because I love Metroid, even though I butcher her name all the time, but that's okay. <laughs> but but they're not but they're not relying on Metroid anymore. Look at E three; they didn't announce anything about a new Metroid game. They're relying on Zelda. They're relying on Zelda, Mario, and like Donkey Kong, and Kirby. Yeah. So they did switch it up a little bit this year. Like, where's Star Fox? Where's Where's Metroid? We haven't seen a Metroid. A- Games, games since Metroid Prime 3. I don't think they're going to make it anymore. I, I, Seriously. Actually, you brought up a good point there real quick. We'll, we'll get back to the Metroid thing, but... Because, I mean... I mean you, want, you want to go on that point? Well, I was just going to say... the. I, I was just curious what um, how Chris felt about the... The last Star Fox I remember, besides the one on the 3DS, there was one on the 3DS, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a remake of the 64. Yeah, it was a remake, so that doesn't really count. But the last original one was that one where it was like a, a third-person game, exploration game, right? Uh-huh. Where you're on a planet. No, no that's, uh, they, that's the first one that they put on the GameCube. That's uh, the Dinosaur Island one. Yes. And then they did Assault. Then they did Assault, which went back to the roots, but also had some of the third-party stuff, the third-person Stuff. And then they made one for the original DS, but you had to like control it with the touchpad to like move your ship, and the controls were just terrible. God, I forgot all about those. Was Assault any good? I like Assault. I play. I still play it with my dad. <laughs> See, I don't remember Assault that well. I, I I actually was one of the weird people that liked the one where it was like a dinosaur planet thing. I was disappointed there wasn't more, you know, shmup action kind of stuff going, simulation action going on in there. 
you know, there was no actual. There was like only a few places where you actually got to fly your spaceship and shoot things up. Well, and now they got that the the game with the you know with everybody and all the characters to where you can battle against each other. I don't exactly. It just came out. Uh, it was at E3 as well. Um, it's like the Super Mario. You know, I don't know where they they got to kill each other basically, and all the Mario characters, including. Um, let's see, Mario's in there, Luigi's in there, Yogi's, or <laughs> Yogi, um, Yogi. <laughs> uh, the Yogi, green... you're now confirmed for Smash. Yes, you're in, you're, you're, you're in Nintendo Smash, you're in Mario Brothers Smash, yeah, but, um, all the characters are in that, so I mean, like, when they bring it all back, like, uh, and not, Link's not in there, but, I mean, you got Mario, Luigi, you got Princess, you got the, uh, who's the pink dude, the little pink blob thing. Um, Kirby? Yeah, Kirby's in there as well. I mean, there's just so... there's. I mean, what is it, like 12 characters right now in it, if I counted right? Are you talking about the fighter? Yes. The yeah, new one that just came out. Too. It's not out yet. It's not coming out until November. Okay, well then... Well, the one that was at E3. Yeah. The one that they were having a yeah. tournament on, yeah. Yeah, I think there's... Right now, they announced, I think it's 20 characters right now. And it's a bunch of old characters. But that's actually the fourth game in that series, which is weird. Okay, well, I just I thought it was something that they'd come out with to get all the characters into, but, of course. Yeah. Research King right here. Not really. <laughs> I know I know Obi that you're a gamer. I'm just a hardcore console guy. Yeah, we're more on the PC side lately. <laughs> but we still have, like, I mean... You can't, you know. I, I I feel like the PC master race is sometimes a little out of control because you have to appreciate the the console because gaming wouldn't be as big as it is now if it didn't hit the mainstream because of the consoles. So, you know, and you could also say the arcades, but you know, the consoles really what made it so mainstream. Uh, PC gaming, if it was still PC gaming, it would have been a shitstorm because people. Don't like the dealing. They don't like dealing with the tech issues and the elitism and you know, all the nuances of PC gaming. Right. Well, I, and I think it's kind of off topic, but we're getting ready to go into it. I just got my first two legendaries in the same pack. On Hearthstone. Nice. I got my second legendary last week. We're, get, we're definitely get into the Hearthstone. Not not too much because uh, I know Chris. He'll be like, uh, I know he likes he likes the game, Wait, but he's like, I finally, Hearthstone, jeez. I finally got my snake trap. How long have you been playing? And you just got legend. You just got your first legendary. Well, you got to remember too. I play probably an hour a week because <laughs> I'm doing other oh. things. But yeah, I'm not even. I don't even have any. I don't think I have one character that's level twenty yet. So. Oh, either do I, but. I, just, I love Hearthstone, but, but I got my Ragnaros. I can't play because I'm terrible. I got my um, my Snake Trap, which is a, an epic. But um, and then I got a couple other things. Uh, I'll have to look, get on them and look. I know I got my Ragnaros. I know that. And then I got. Um, I said I'll have to get on and look, but it's because I don't play it that often. But we'll see. Still no video yeah. showing. What? No, it's the one on my side. I see you guys. On, I'm on the. On I see the you. Too. We're looking. We're looking sexy too. Mm. Oh, you got the you got the Twitch chat working too. Look at that. That looks sexy. I know. Yeah, I said it was up when uh, when I started. Oh, yeah, don't forget, Obi changed the uh, the link to geekyantics.com so people that oh. before we, yeah before we finish transition so people can start checking out the new site. I know. I'm terrible. No, man, it's good. Good looking out. Good looking out. There we go. All right, everything's back to normal. So, yeah, about the Metroid thing. Um, I, I I think that what happened with that is after Team Ninja uh, touched the series, <laughs> things went downhill because I heard that game was an atrocity. I checked this what same guy out. Game? Sorry. What happened? Nothing. No, Keep going. Ahead. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> oh, I played Other M. It wasn't that bad. It was a good Metroid game. It's just they made Samus a whiny bitch. Can, uh, I, say on this, can I say that word on this cast? I don't know. Sure. Yeah, we have a, we have an E for explicit. We just try to curb because you know people feel like if you do it too much, it's like not classy. <laughs> study 
studies show that people that swear more often that's are actually more intelligent. Just mm. FYI. It's true. <laughs> but but studies but, also uh, show all kinds of weird things, so you gotta be careful with that too. Studies yeah. show well, eating peanut butter makes your penis extra large. Right. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I. That's I'm why I eat so much peanut because... butter. <laughs> I'm kind of a science nerd, and the whole correlation versus causation thing is. Really... Yes. That's really the, fun. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, people don't understand that there's a big difference between causation and correlation. You could, you know, you could correlate anything, any things together, but it doesn't mean that X causes Y. It just means that they found some circumstantial evidence. It's like, hey, look, this person, uh, you know, watched a lot of uh, uh, Breaking Bad, and now uh, he's a really good drug dealer. I don't know. Well, I, I got one for you. Do you know that a... 100% of people that drink water will die. So, therefore, <laughs> water leads to you dying. So, don't drink water because it's poisonous. That's, that's true. We're all dying. People don't catch that. Dude, did you see, ever see that one thing? They, they did this... Uh, oh, gosh, what was it? It was uh, like one of those street team type things where they had a bunch of people with cameras and mics walking around and asking people que uh, a question. And the question they asked was, it was about abortion. And um, they asked women um, something about trimesters. I feel the exact verbiage. So I'm not, I'm not going to even try to, to uh, paraphrase it. But a bunch of women, they asked men too, but a bunch of women did not, they were talking about a fourth trimester. And my mind exploded. Because I'm like, um trimester try as in three there's not a fourth trimester it's like saying there's a fifth quarter that's a quadmester man <laughs> but <laughs> hearing this that was almost as bad as the pharma reps that i had to deal with as a help desk uh manager pharma reps for a major pharmaceutical company probably the biggest out there that's all i'm gonna say oh is it i did not know what i care i work for them i'm i must say <laughs> but did you know they were complaining to me because their database was supposedly corrupt. And they said, hey, my sales territory is not showing any um, any um, OBGYNs in there. All, and I'm like, um, I'm seeing a bunch of them here. No, these are not the proper assignments. The database, I can't, I can't make calls on these people because they're not in my, they're not in my territory. They're not, they're, I, I can't, I, I'm not specializing in those things. And it's, 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 it's these women. And I'm like, um, well, I see a bunch of obstetricians and uh, gynecologists. They didn't know that that's what an OBGYN means. <laughs> Can you believe that? And these people with freaking, like, master's degrees or PhDs, you know, like high-level degrees. And they're doing pharma, they're doing pharma sales because it's, it's big money in that. But they didn't know that. Like, that's basic stuff, dude. Oh, my God, it's pharma 101. Mm-hmm. And women would be making that mistake. <sighs> the world. The world. Well, you got to remember, too, that people that are... A lot of people, if they don't hear it or see it, you know, the, the name or whatever, ever. I mean, before I got married, I didn't know what it was, either. I mean... Because I don't need it. I mean, why do I got? Why does a guy need yeah, to go see it? A man, but I'm telling me a woman that's you know in her 30s or 40s doesn't know what an OBGYN and I'm like, well, okay, really? Then, then like, she's just acting stupid. Yeah, it's like, what do you have you done all your life? Do you like never go to see a doctor other than like making sales calls on them? That's that's scary. Ooh, well, I wonder what kind of stuff they have going on down there. I'm just saying. Ooh, ooh. Anyway. Moving on. No offense to the women in the audience. What's that, Chris? I said cobwebs and bats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No kidding. So, yeah, I think we pretty much... Uh, we're talk we were talking about Capcom. We went off on a, on a Nintendo thing, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how we got to this dark place, but we got there. But uh, let's do some uh, corrections and updates real quick. So, this is more on the update side. We're going to do more Christmas Next Ramus coverage. Because this week uh, we had a new priest card revealed, the Dark Cultist. Which you would think, with a name like Dark Cultist, is something like demonic, some kind of damage dealing card. But no. Isn't it a healing card or some shit like that? 
pretty much, he's basically a three cost, a three mana cost Temple Enforcer. Mm -hmm. So you know, Temple Enforcer is a six cost, uh, six six card that does that adds three health to any card on the board, any mini on the board. When well, this is a three cost, it does the same thing, but instead of it being a battle cry, it's a death rattle. So there's a chance that it may not get to proc its effect. But the base stats, I think, are like I think it's a three cost with three five. For stats or something insane, which is pretty damn good for a three cost card, and I think it's just an epic. It's, it's not even a legendary. It might even be a rare. Uh, don't quote me on that, but he's hell. Whatever. It's not. It's not a legendary. I know that much. And that three cost card with the nice space stats and then an awesome effect. You know, I already think Priest is severely underrated, and this is gonna make Priest even sexier because they have so many tools in their toolbox. So, you know, that right now. What's that, Obi? All what? I know is I played a priest earlier in my shaman. I beat the living hell out of that dude. <laughs> That's all I know. I played him on my shaman earlier, and the priest didn't. He was like, "Yeah, hey, you're going to get your ass kicked. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, so, I will say this. Uh, shaman <clears throat> and, like, aggro warlock are, like, two of the hard counters for priests because most priests are, like, mid to late game uh, kind of classes. Uh, but you could, I, I, I changed my priest so it's more aggro because the meta is definitely shifting towards heavy aggro. And now that my, my, my priest is aggro, I actually beat someone on like turn four because I got a creature or like turn three because I got a creature up to like 30 damage and just went straight to their face and won. Well, I have that, you know, on, on a shaman, you have the taunt card. It's a, it's either a four or five mana cost and it's a seven, eight and it's a taunt. It's like a, an elemental, uh, like a. Uh, not a fire elemental, but like a rock elemental or earth elemental type deal. And it's got a taunt on it, and it has this, uh, you know, overcharged by three and everything. And then I just gave, I gave all minions uh, plus three attack. So then I had plus three. So that's a ten, and then I gave that guy uh, wind fury. So I hit the guy for 20 points right off the bat, and he's like, holy. F uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's just trying to save himself and stutter, trying to kill... He could never. He never took the guy down. So I mean, it was like three turns and he was done. Yeah, when you play against shaman, don't leave stuff out on the board because you never know how, that if they'll buff it. You know, give it more health, more attack, and then give it wind fury. And oh no, I mean, even the silly little totems that it puts out kill those things too. You got to have a lot of heavy board clear for for shaman. And that's the thing that they might make you burn all your good hard removal, and then they'll get the real weapons out. So it's it's rough playing as Shaman. Uh, Shaman is definitely a top three class, and I don't see them change anytime soon because Wind Fury alone and Overload... I mean, Wind Fury alone is crazy, but then Overload on top of it, so you can freaking just do ramp up like crazy. I mean, it's, it's a trade-off, but you can do some big combos in one turn. It's right. You get pretty broken. Well, I'm I'm I have a I have a a list of like a, a a spacing list of where people are at, like where the classes are at, and I gave the shaman number two. Um, just because they're they're so freaking strong. If you oh, yeah. if you can get past, and I'm gonna tell this to everybody, it's a little hint. If you can get past nine mana with a shaman and you can stay above fifteen health, you're probably gonna win. Uh, all shamans damage unless they just get really good cards at the right time. All shamans are early game players, are early game champions. If you don't, you know, if you can kill them, if you can't kill them earlier and you can stay alive, you're probably gonna win. Just because shamans will go to your face nine times out of ten and not think it twice about it. Yeah, they gotta try to kill. You. They gotta try to end the game fast and easy. And you know, you you can almost always expect the turn four Leroy Jenkins or. You know, turn six Leroy Jenkins with Wind Fury. You know, all kind of crazy stuff you can do with that. You don't want to leave the Leroy Jenkins out either. Mm -hmm. But uh, Stan, Stan asked, we're, we're not doing the official Hearthstone talk just yet, but he asked about Prophet Velen, yes or no. Now, Prophet Velen, that's the one that makes it so that the priest uh, healing effects and ability all do damage instead of healing, right? And I think that... I prefer straight pr healing priest over the shadow priest because shadow priest can bite you in the ass. Whereas healing priest, you could keep healing yourself and stall a little bit and buy yourself enough time that the cards don't line up right. Mm -hmm. You know, that the RNG is against you. The healing priest gives you some options, you know, and you can stall the crap out of people. 
with the shadow priest you could be a lot more aggro but you have to really commit and if you over commit you know it, it could be bad so i don't know if you under commit too it's it's rough knowing that balance yeah you gotta know what's my main class really what's that that i play priest is my main class that i play in hearthstone i want to good play man this. good man I play I play control early game with the healing priest, and then once I get to like eight mana, I switch over to shadow priest, and I just beat the face, and then I'll, something big hits the hits the floor, or my heal spell that's like, oh, heal everything for eight, deals eight to everything, and it's just it's 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 a game. I love it. Right. Yeah. We need to bring more cred, street cred to priests. I'm definitely gonna start running priests more. Once I get my deck just right, but uh, the meta shifts so much that sometimes you do the control priest and then you get all aggro and it's hurt and it sucks. Then you go aggro and then it's all like freaking control and it's like damn it, and like and you know you can make a balanced priest deck, but then if the cards don't line up, it's like hit or miss. So that, I think that's the part that people say with priest is inconsistent. But I think there is a way to strike that balance, like with things like my um, what is it, mind the mind thingy that. What's that one card that lets you draw one card from your opponent's hand? Mind, mind some last games. Mind games. Mind games. Yeah, fantasy. Yeah. Uh, but it, that one's good because you can see what they're, what kind of deck they're running right off the bat, and then you get an extra card in your hand. I mean, you use a card for a card, but it still, it's a one cost, and it's kind of good to get a feel for your opponent. So I like that card. Um, and sometimes that you get something really good, and it and it turns the things around. Thought steal is a must, I think, in almost any priest deck because it's a two for one play, and you get some nice stuff sometimes from from that. Definitely, uh, you get legendaries you might not have yourself, you know. So it's it's a great card. Ah, I love priests. But anyway, this is still news and stuff, so we'll get more into the Hearthstone. But <laughs> just, just back to Chris and uh, next Ramis again. July is looking more and more likely. To be the release date, uh, release window for it. The August end, at the latest. The end of July. They were talking I'm, to the twenties, like twenty sixth, twenty seventh. I'm hopeful. I'm I'm thinking beginning of July when the right when the season starts. That'd be so epic. Well, I know as much as you do. I'm just that's what I heard. Of course, just like everybody else, I hear things, so they gotta say it. Yeah, I mean, I've been hearing that too, but I, I think. What a great way it'd be to start a new season with Chris and Max Ramis and, ah, oh, dude. So, you know, and the thing is, they only have one more uh, one more class-specific card to reveal from Chris and Max Ramis, which is the Hunter class, which I'm excited about, too, because Control Hunter was my favorite for the longest until everybody started running it, and then everybody started creating counters for it. It's like, they, damn it! They revealed it. It's a spider card. Did they reveal it? Yeah. I must have missed it. It said, "New uh, look out. Go get on. Go get on Hearthstone right now, or just the main page, and you'll see it. it's on the main. Pa it's on the front page. They revealed, or uh, unless they're revealing it at a date, and I just didn't see the date. That's probably what it is. So I'm always wrong about hmm. everything. It might might be, but I know the on uh, Gamepedia that I didn't I, I didn't see it on there, and I didn't see anything on Hearthpone or any of those sites." But we'll see. That, that, I know that it hinted it'd probably be a spider card, but I know I don't think they revealed exactly what it does. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll report back next week, and by then we'll have a better idea what's going on with Chris next Ramis. But uh, Stan says in, in the chat they need to implement gold sales, which was up for a bit and they took it down. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. They they put stuff up and then they take it down. But it's like they t they try to tease us. But I think with a lot of good a lot of good things are gonna come with Chris next Ramis. But anyway, let's move on, because I know we, we went off on the epic tangents as, as we do. We're already almost an hour in. Holy crap. Oh, wow. No, actually, you know, we started 15 minutes early, so we're only a half hour in. That's true. Okay, that's well, true. 50, I'm at 50 minutes right now, and that's with a start. So, Next thing we got, Man Crush and Geek Girls. If you want to be a guest on or suggest your favorite Man Crushes or Geek Girls, contact us via Twitter. Uh, all games or the official gang website, geekyantics.com. You guys can leave us a voicemail if you'd like to, too. 206-415-4987. Let us know what you want to talk about. Let us know who you got a crush on, geek-wise. We'll, we'll talk it to death. Of course, let us know. Let's share our Geeks of the Week. 
this is where we actually go through. I started doing it probably about a month ago, and Yogi jumped on the uh, the train here the last couple of weeks. Um, we go throughout and just find streamers that we just enjoy watching, uh, that we that we love to watch and we we love to to have fun with, and they interact with us, and we just we go around because we both go around a lot and look at different streams and podcasts that we want to recognize those that are probably either one not known yet or they're known but they just have a really really good story that we want to share mine's a real simple one um i've been following this guy for quite a bit and uh every time i get on he always he's talking in chat he doesn't necessarily have uh, um Sometimes he doesn't have a mic, sometimes he does, but he's, he's always talking in chat. He keeps the people uh, entertained, and, and he plays PS4, which is, yay, PlayStation. Um, so I do want to give him a shout-out, and his, uh, his Twitch name is I underscore am underscore hockey. You guys go check that out. He does play FIFA all the time, FIFA 14, and he plays NHL 14 right on the PS4. So you guys go check that out, I underscore am underscore hockey all spelled just like it is i'll put it in chat real quick but um just want to give a shout out to him uh keep it up dude you're doing a great job every time i get on there it's just it's just awesome well my pick is one that's unusual for me because i usually don't you know plug established streamers you know there's a few that i like you know like dear nadia i think she's cool but you know usually we try to get you know i've been doing this also, on over on Geeky Antics and uh, other places on my streams, I promote other streamers because I want to help the little guys on. That's kind of why we built Geeky Antics Network to level the playing field because the, the big personalities don't need more help growing their audience. <laughs> you know, the, it's the people in the, that's the middle of the pack that are doing the right things and are making progress, but it's not fast enough or not quite what they expect. Mm-hmm. But Applejack is an exception because... Uh, I, I think he has a real, a really inspiring story. You know, um, he's ex-military. You know, he went through his struggles. You know, um, he has very humble beginnings. You know, everybody always thinks these like these like streamers that hit it big are overnight successes, and some of them are, um, especially if the ones of the female persuasion, because you know people like looking at pretty women. <laughs> you know? Oh, sorry. Who wants to look at our hairy faces as much? But you know, Applejack. It might help that he's ripped, so I think some of the ladies like that. I mean, this guy's got some cannons on him, no homo. But I, I really think that the fact that what's I think that really what helped out is that when he started off, I remember he would only have like two or three, and he'll tell you this even today. He would have like two or three viewers, and he'll stream for like twelve hours or eight hours, and keep talking to those two or three viewers as if he had a full room of people. You know, get really hot, hyped. You know, had the high energy, was really responsive, really engaging. He always acted like there was a party going on, you know, and he always brought that high energy, kind of like like uh, Sean Freeman does and everything he does when he does podcasting. And I believe in that uh, approach, you know. And, it, and even now when he has, you know, thousands of people in, in the Twitch chat, Applejack just comes with it with the, with his uh, A-game and just he just addresses everybody, welcomes everyone, and he does his little his little riot dance and everything, and it's just great. It's, it's always a fun experience, and you know I think it's good to see someone that really started from zero, had no no help, no shortcuts, not didn't game the system, didn't know someone on the inside, didn't have really a gimmick. It was just all about his personality and the fact that he stayed committed. And now he's doing he's doing streaming professionally. That's his job. That's all he does. I mean, dude, people love him so much. That's, I see guys dropping, like, a lot of people just dropping $100, $100 here, $100 there, the donation. People dropping $400, $500. And I'm like, damn, people love him, man. I can see why. He deserves it. Because he really brings he really brings it. He's one of the rare streamers that really has that energy and is authentic and really just loves people. And he's a funny guy, too. So that helps. So, Ben, thumbs up to you. We're going to get him out of the show sometime. He can share his story. He's live right now. Sorry, I was watching him. <laughs> <laughs> you were looking at his muscles. Oh, yeah. I, I he's... Just, he deliberately, like, shows off his muscles while he's doing stuff. Like, he could he reaches for stuff in an awkward way so his bicep will pop out. Yeah, his his <laughs> somebody subbed, and he goes, yeah, guys, look at that sub right there. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's like, really? <laughs> he's doing, like, at first, I thought it was kind of douchey, but I know he's, he's just being funny. It's, it's very much tongue-in-cheek. He's he's a good guy, and I and, and I and I actually got to f- see it firsthand. 
his rise from like being a nobody to like boom because he's not like a uh, top tier player or you know a professional team player or anything like that. Mm-hmm. He just stayed on the grind and he Definitely. did it. Chris, you, you got any any streamers you like? I don't watch streamers. Those day- gaming death guys are pretty good too. Well, we don't we don't stream very often. <laughs> Um, I wish I watched more streams, but I just don't have time for it. Like, if I was going to watch a stream, I'd rather be playing myself, in all honesty, most of the time. Yeah. I feel like the issue we all face. Like, people ask me, like, why? what's the fun in this? So wouldn't you rather be streaming yourself or playing the game yourself or doing something else? Like, if you're a content developer, like we are, it's hard to carve out that time. But I think it's worth it. You know, anyone that, that does any kind of content should spend, you know, at least 10% of their time supporting other people doing things similar to what they're doing. If you're a writer, support other writers. If you're an entertainer, support other entertainers. If you're a streamer, support other streamers. Because it not only helps you, you know, get learn some best practices, but it lets you dial back, take a break from all the stuff you're doing and just relax, you know. But sometimes I just multitask. Like, if I'm working on a blog post or listening to podcasts, uh, you know, I might have a Twitch stream up at the same time, you know? So, yeah, I, I think it's worth carving out the time, but it is tough. I had the same issue, too. Yeah, we, the thing is, like, we don't really do the stream thing on Gaming Death. We're more the articles and the podcast thing. So a lot of my time is devoted to podcasts. Like, I'm subscribed to, like, 80-something podcasts that I listen to a week. And I read, like every article on six different websites so like that's where my time goes and then the rest of my time is creating content and getting stuff content for us yeah no i don't uh, trust me i know and I, like that's the thing i've noticed with like uh twitch twitch streaming and podcasting they're like these kind of almost mutually exclusive communities because one or, one or the other will consume you and juggling both is really hard so I know I've dialed back a lot of the podcasts that I listen to and, and subscribe to. You know, I, I only honestly I only subscribe to the ones that that uh, show some love to the rest of the community and aren't all about themselves. So all the mainstream ones that like taking them off the queue. I'm, you know, people that I know and the people that I like. That's it. And then I guess I do a switch too. I just can't. I've been listening to like I listen to all of the Kevin Smith podcasts. I've been listening to them since like they started. Yeah. So, like, I feel invested. Same thing with, like, Podcast Beyond, which is an IGN game podcast. I've been listening to them since episode, like, four. I a com- like an indie comedy podcast that I've been listening to forever. They got huge, like, not that long ago. And- oh, the Comedy Button? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, should, I, I know them. The, well, I, I don't know them personally, but I, I, I follow them here and there. That's, that's a good one, yeah. See, like, like, I like I like supporting the smaller ones because you know I like Kevin Smith, but I catch I catch the smog I, I catch all the smog casts uh, here and there, but you know he doesn't need more help building an audience. He's good. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't need my he doesn't need my download. <laughs> you know, podcasts are good. That's why you listen to them. Yeah, but it's like you know, it's like you just said to yourself. You know, when you're a content developer, when you're a creator, uh, consum- consuming. Is harder, you know. You have to t- dial back the consumption, because otherwise you just you'll never get anything done. <laughs> so that's why I draw the line. Understandable. But <laughs> you guys, you are you enjoying the the, the uh, chat function there? I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are uh, so our, our, our Twitch streamers of the week are uh, I am Hockey and Applejack, but. We're going to also incorporate uh, formal uh, areas on the uh, Geeky Antics uh, site. So right now, the beta site, which we want to transition everybody over to, is geekyantics.com. Uh, if you go to geekyantics.net, it'll, point, it'll tell you, hey, we're moving. So it's, just go to geekyantics.com. We're going to start, start getting everybody over there. But we're going to make it so that people can shamelessly self-promote because i hate this whole thing when people go on podcasts or on twitch streams and it's like a taboo if you promote your own thing it's like fuck that just go ahead share it we know how it is when you have to start from zero just don't spam it that's it you know be cool about it say hey you know would you mind if i pr- plug this go for it it's not gonna kill me if some of my people go over to your thing and they stay there then obviously my, my thing sucks it's not because you, you poach my people i'm obviously doing something wrong straight up <laughs> 
So I'm all about self promotion as long as it doesn't get extreme. We're gonna try to help people get those channels to promote their podcasts and promote their Twitch streams. You know, we're all about spreading love. You know, that's the theme on Geeky Antics and it's the theme on Horseplay Live. People think we're crazy, but that's not what we're gonna do, yo. Yeah, guys, make sure you go over to gamingdeath.com and check out twitch.tv slash gaming death. Hey, what the I, hell? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I like what Maiden Shy White Wolf said in the chat. She said that I have a, a cat bird. Yes, Blue thinks she's a bird. She likes to perch up on my shoulder and watch. She likes watching the screen and looking at the mouse moving around. Because I sometimes I get like a little OCD. So I start instead of fidgeting in my in my seat, I just move the mouse around, and I I kind of like make it into like a racetrack formation or an infinity mm-hmm. sign, and then she just watches and she's like, "Wow, what's going on? It's trippy." Oh, she's about to attack. I me do that with myself. I just do my mouse in a figure eight and I go. Wee. Yeah, the figure eight is OP, man. Ow. <laughs> that's why you get. That's why you get distracted sometimes. I'm like, "What's Obi doing?" I'm sorry. <laughs> Geeks and gay. I don't know. It was, it was something. <laughs> Dude, it's not like it sounded like a lightsaber. It's pretty good. Geeks. <laughs> roger, Roger. <laughs> if you want to join the discussion, connect us. Connect with us via Horseplay Live Skype account. You guys just check it out. Horseplay exclamation point live. Uh, you'll find it. You'll see a picture of our beautiful faces. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's just gonna leave that at that. And if you guys do want to leave us a voicemail, you guys can give us a call on the gang voicemail hotline at two zero six four one five four nine eight seven. If you guys are coming to the show, please use headphones. We do not want to hear ourselves in your speakers. We will cut you off the call. <laughs> please use headphones. It has to be said because people just don't do it. Um, be patient with us. Well, if you guys are getting the call, if you guys do want to join, be patient with us so we can actually get you guys going and get you in the call so we can start talking. Yeah, 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 no? Sure. Yo. Me gusta. Me, no. I don't know. Well, uh, so this, uh, as part of the Geeks Engaged thing, we'll, we'll take a, a question that was asked, um... Over at Ask FM, which is a really handy thing. If you're a Twitch streamer or if you're involved in social media in any way, Ask FM, Ask or Ask dot FM is so worth having. Are you frozen, Obi? Or are you just freezing your face in that like that? Oh, okay, you blinked. Whew, that was creepy. But uh, I, I thought it was a cool question, so I'd like to ask you guys this: What three foods would you eat for the rest of your life if that's all you could eat? That is really creepy, Obi. Stop it. Oh, Chris, you can open up with this one. What three foods? If you go only three foods for the rest of your life, what would they be? Is this uh, rated E for explicit? Doom, doom, doom. Yes, it's rated E for explicit. <laughs> go for it. Um, if you well, say pussy, no, I'm gonna uh, knock you out, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> well, because well, that's not a then? food. It's that's that 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 is not a food. That's an extra extra extra. extra Extracurricular activity. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> can I have every type of sushi if I say sushi? Or does it have to be a certain type? No, you can say every, all, every type of sushi. That's fine. All right. You get a general umbrella. Then sushi and pizza and eggs because you can do everything. Eggs. Mm. Egg salad, egg sandwich, fried egg, baked egg, boiled egg. Can we keep going? Mm-hmm. Poached egg. Yeah. <laughs> Deviled eggs. Yeah, yeah. Three foods. Man, this is hard. Um, I would have to say... Um, now, if I pick something like chicken... No, okay, yeah. Chicken would be one. Um, uh, just because I'm more of a chicken guy anyway. It's a little bit healthier for you. Steak is really good, but only if you get... For me, only if I get the... The high dollar steaks where you could still fuck the cooking up and it's still good kind of thing. Um, Mm. I'd want some kind of, let's see, I'd say chicken. uh, And I'm going to just be blunt here, like uh, like rice, like all sorts, kinds of rice. You said I could have it. So, you know, the rice in general. And um, probably some Pringles. (laughs) 
You can't have just one. Yeah. I know. Well, I get it for the rest of my life, so. Yes. Yeah. Endless supply. Yeah. What about you, I Joe? Guess, I answered it on Ask FM, so if you guys want to follow me on there. Oh, no, but I'm say I, that. I, now that, that Chris said um, sushi, I really got to say I'm a big fan of Japanese, Japanese style curry. But like a bento box style where they have a, a, a bread, a whole, a whole spread rather, of stuff. Like I don't know what it is about it. Like J- that Japanese style curry is not too spicy, not too sweet. Oh, it's so good. And there's a place that in, in New York City that I still always go to. So that I could I could eat that like crazy because they put the rice and the curry all over, it and it's the presentation's perfect, it tastes delicious. And then take pork or chicken and chop it up. But that's kind of cheating because that's like a lot of different things. They have the hard boiled egg in there and the cabbage. Oh, so good though. So, but if uh, you got, is it a seasoning, right? Well, I'm saying like the bento box style Japanese curry meal. I can eat that. Oh, okay. Because they got a new a new Japanese uh, surplus store just opened up down the road, and um, I figured if I was gonna go, if if you wanted something, I go try to get it and send it to you see if you liked it. I'm not really dude, a big Japanese fan. Dude, oh, gosh, I'll eat the hell out of Chinese food. <laughs> you haven't had good Japanese then. Because people think Japan, Japanese, they always think sushi or sashimi. But it is so much to their cuisine because they borrow from other cultures, including the Chinese. And it is just, it's an amalgamation of different cultures. But, oh, God. Japanese style well, curry like, like that. If I could cheat and say that's that's that, if I can have that style meal, that would definitely be one of be one of them. Not that Chris inspired me. And pizza, I can eat the crap out of pizza, and there's so many varieties of pizza. That's cheating too, though, isn't it? Well, no, I said Pringles. I get every variety of Pringles. You can have every variety of pizza. That's fine. It's still pizza. You're still getting pizza. Hmm. Problem is, you can't have any hmm. toppings on it because you said you didn't want. You never said nothing about pepperoni or sausage or anything like that. So you get pizza, sure. Pizza pizza just Isn't a piece of dough no i think it's assumed like who orders a plain pizza cheese pizza Weird people hmm no, you, no, no. you said it man no 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 pizza and with, and with any topping i want that's that's op as hell for the rest of my life i could do that i won't get tired of it my wife and you know, my wife could too she could eat pizza every day for the rest of her life and go oh this is so good every time she has it yeah i'd be like oh. my stomach there was this place that I used to go to that let you make your own pizza, and they had tons of different toppings and, like, fresh ingredients, like, real fresh ingredients, not like Papa John's, that they say it's fresh, but it's, like, <clears throat> and uh, one of the toppings I would put on there is, like, feta cheese and um, some other, I forgot, I think I put, I even put, like, goat cheese on there, some other stuff, and, oh, God, so good. And bacon, they had, like, the real bacon, not overcooked, not undercooked, just right, crispy, but still... Not a hockey puck, you know, not blackened completely. Oh, my gosh. That was a good pizza. So delicious. I think I even put, like, a little spinach on there. Dude, I hooked that shit up. Mm. But my, my third one is the toss-up, man, between corned beef hash, which I love, or... <laughs> yeah. Th- <laughs> corned beef hash is good, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's wrong with corned beef hash? <laughs> you guys are bastards. Nothing at all. What? What? You guys? I warned you. I was getting a little stoned before this cast. Thanks to painkillers. That's why I'm laughing because I know he's just fucked up right now. It doesn't matter. (laughs) That word just makes me smile. Record me that. Oh, oh, (laughs) hash. (laughs) No, not hash. Just the whole word. Oh, it is a funny food when you stop to think about it. Uh, it's It's dog food. It, it is, you know, it, it, you know it looks disgusting, but if you hook it up the right way, ah, so good. But I don't know, that would be that or uh, uh, or bacon. Oh no, no potatoes, potatoes. You got uh, scallop potatoes. You know, you can have loaded potatoes or you got fries. I'm changing you know, mine to potatoes fries. because I can. Yeah, you can make fries out of potatoes. Damn. Yeah, baked you potatoes. Can make, you make good fries out of potatoes. Yeah, do potato wedges. Oh. I'm potato done. wedgies, you know, potato wedgies for Chris. He's, he's giggling like a little schoolgirl. But yeah, uh, I'm making myself up. Let me stop. No crap. I'm gonna, I gotta have to go to the kitchen at 1 o'clock in the morning when we're done with the show and make a freaking huge meal because now I'm hungry. Thanks, Yogi. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, but everybody in the chat just said, uh, well, Stan's starting to ride. He's like, breakfast at Yogi's. Oh, gosh. Stan <laughs> starts it every week. Stan starts the chat every week. He just he does. He, 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 uh, I love you, Stan. No homo. Shout outs. Hey, hey. Special thanks to Zombie. Was, is it Zombie Vor? Yes. And Obi Zinka. <laughs> nice name. Ooh, ooh. And Spazilla for their continued contri contributions and support. Quick shout outs to all the peeps in chat, you guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. We love you every week, as always. Again, shout-outs to our fellow Twitch broadcasters for those that are actually in the show just watching and checking us out and all that. Appreciate that, man. Grats to you. Shout-outs to you as well. And, of course, of our, our, our broadcasters for the day, which is the uh, Apple... I got to get it. Apple Jacked and I Am Hockey. You guys, uh, shout-outs to those guys as well. And, of course... Um, all the broadcasters are, are all games family and everyone live in the chat, like I just said, and all of you that download and listen to our podcast, you guys don't think it's, it's very means anything to us. It really does. It, when you guys download the podcast and just listen to it, even if it's on, on Stitcher and you guys just listen to it, that means so much to us. You guys have no idea. Thank you very much. Yogi, you got some uh, shout outs you want to give out? Yeah, so, you know, I've said this before, but, you know, they continue to be awesome people. So, Trices is me, Enigma Games, Monolicious, Pixter, Poopy Butts, Puffin, Shananina, Macanus, Blue Monkey, 123, Obizianka, Zombie Vor, Georgie. You know, tons of people, not enough time to mention everybody, but you guys know who you are. Lots of love for you guys. You know, and I know we're repeating ourselves, but we want to make sure that the, these good people get the attention they deserve because they're doing the thing. Um... And yeah, also, I want to say much it. love to Stan. The blue cam will now be a thing. It'll be. It'll take some time to get set it up, but we have it. And I'll show you right now on the stream for you guys watching the video. Super dope. Look at this thing. It's a little orbit that moves around. It's all mechanized. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like an R2D2 kind of thing. It's a little mini R2D2. Oh my gosh, how awesome would this be if they had this in blue, blue and white? Dude, that's what they make spray paint for. That's true. I might have to do that. Noob. A little bit of scotch tape and some spray paint. Dude, that'd be pimp. We could pimp it out, dude. Modded a modded camera. <laughs> There's a lot of love going on in the chat right now. We're having fun over here. But let's let's keep it moving. So we can actually get through this discussion before Chris gets any uh, more delirious. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm sorry. I like I said I took painkillers before I came on the cast because of the bath. I'm doing my best. I'm trying no, to get it down. No, it's fun. It's fun. That's, this is horseman. This is how we roll. I, I just I just find it funny that. All right. Yeah, I do want to say something, Chris. So if food, you do uh, not horse. stop being so serious, we're going to have to ask you to go. <laughs> so serious? I can put on my serious face. No. God damn it. Expecto Patronum. Don't <laughs> No, no. Levioso. Stop, Ron. Stop it. Oh my gosh, freaking Hermione was such a freaking stuck up little. I'm not even gonna say the word because I know we're a little woman. But gosh, I, I hated her at first. I'm like, Ugh! <sighs> did you just did you just orgasm? No, it was it was more that's like what, that's what it sounded like. No, it, it was more vein popping. I'm like, <laughs> well, that but kinda. you kind of sounded like you were busting a nut to say. Yeah, it. you were like, oh. You know. That is really wrong, considering she was no under age on all those movies, pretty hey. much. No, she wasn't. No, Last she wasn't. Movies, Last two, she was over 18. Oh, okay. That's yes, why I, yes. I was going to say, too, the last two movies, that's when she started growing up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. But then she shaved her head or something. She cut her hair short. Like, freaking retard. Why? I don't She's know. She's a pretty kid. Was, like, why would you do that? Well, she had <laughs> another. She had, a, she, she had another part that she was going for, so she yeah. did it. She was going for the part, and she thought she had it. So then she shaved her head for the part, and then they went with somebody else. Wow. That's why she still has her head shaved. Well, it's grown back now, but that's why she shaved her head. Or cut it, like, super, like, boy short. I do know that one. You, I, you did your homework. Well, I no, know she did, no. I know she did modeling for a little bit, and I was wondering, like, 
Were these like tomboy model like photos photo ops or what? I gotta know. It it wasn't it wasn't uh the my it was not homework at all. This was something my wife told me out of the blue a couple of days ago because I was talking about Harry Potter. I wanted to just watch the whole trilogy from one to one to the end. And uh she's like, Yeah, you know the girl in there, she cut her all her hair off. I'm like, What? So then of course I went and did research and but yeah. The feature discussion, we want to make sure Chris can stay with us. What games, and this is a question for both of you, and Chris, you can go first on this. This is what I wanted you to go first on. What games do you have high hopes for? We were we're recovering from E3, of course, recovering from the overload, but the question remains. What do you guys what do you, what do you guys have look, to look forward to? That's that's you know, uh, you know games that we hope that might get re-released or you know the, uh, the even the the new games that are coming out for release. I mean, what do you I mean? What do you think, Chris? Games that I have high hopes for. Mm -hmm. um, there's a game coming out this this a week from today. Mm -hmm. It's an indie game called Shovel Knight, and I have really high hopes for that game. Shh. Better be careful. What? Are you, are you supposed Why? to say anything about it? I, I, I'm not talking about the actual game. Okay, not, just, not just the game. name, just the name. We'll just just get the, I don't want you to get in trouble, telling, man. <laughs> and telling everybody needs to play this game. It's awesome. It's like Mega Man meets Castlevania meets uh, DuckTales from the, for, on the NES. It's old school platformer for PC, Wii U, and 3DS. Like I'm, I was playing on Steam earlier today because I got my review code. But that's awesome. Um for, but as for like big games, Evolve is one of those big games that I'm really, really looking forward to, and I have extremely high hopes for. I played it at PAX East this past year, and I fell in love with it. So there's that, and there's the game that I really hope they announce, which is uh, Fallout Four. I really want mm. Fallout game. I really want Fallout game. Hell it's yeah. Cool. It's about time that Bethesda starts talking about it because we got Skyrim, what, three years ago? And they usually release a new game every three years, and they've been alternating with Elder Scrolls and Fallout on and off. So, But then it wasn't the whole thing that they uh, consider Elder Scrolls Online a release and they kind of want to space it out because of that? Is Elder Scrolls Online isn't made... Okay, Bethesda... Is is the is the publisher, and the people that make like Fallout Three and Elder Scrolls Oblivion and Elder Scrolls Skyrim. That's uh, Bethesda, work, the developers. Mm -hmm. They haven't worked on a game since Skyrim. Um, the team that's working online is a team called Zenimax. So right, Bethesda right. works. Bethesda works has nothing to do with that. So they've yeah. been working on something for the past three. Or, Bethesda works three or four years, and most likely. Fallout 4, and that's what I'm hoping. I need a new open RPG running around shooting mutants in the face. Of course. <coughs> oh, yeah. And Fallout 3 is still fun to play right now. Uh, I, have, I never got a chance to get into Ve uh, New Vegas, but that's another one that's on the to-do list. <laughs> no, you don't need to. It's terrible. <laughs> How bad can it be? <laughs> well, it, It's bad. Hmm. Obi, did you have any picks? I'm not even gonna touch that one because for a bad Fallout game, that sounds like blasphemy. Um, it wasn't. That's... It wasn't made by. That's why. It... Oh man. Made by different team. That happens. Right. Well. Um. And like I said, every the the really the picks that I was looking at and the one game that I've been just keeping an eye on because I really want to play it is the Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, it's coming out here. Um. July, or yeah, I think so. Yeah, or no, is it August? I don't exactly know. I'll look it up for you guys. But that's the I just like I said, I love playing those games. Um, something that could get re-released. I'd really like something like a. We were talking it, I think, in pre-show, like you know, a Mega Man, or you know, or even bring back a Sonic the Hedgehog. I would really, I mean, I love those games. Dude. It's just something that you can just play for hours and basically do whatever you want. Get you know, get certain coins, find find hidden hidden objectives, and just of course. But again, I'm not really the big console player like Chris and Yogi is, so it's kind of 
what do I really want to play? But Assassin's Creed is one of my my biggest. I cannot wait. I have really high hopes for that for that game just because of it's just got so much hype, man. Yo. Wait, hold on before we go to Yogi. Just a quick question for you. Um, you said you want you said you want a new Mega Man game. Have you seen anything on Mighty Number no. Nine? Mm, yes, I have. Is that gonna be a the the guy that made Mega Man and is this guy named Kenji Unifune and he got fired from Capcom, so he uh -huh. did a Kickstarter for a, another Mega Man s game. It's called Mighty Number no. Nine. It looks exactly like Mega Man, coming to PC and consoles. So. I know you're a PC guy. So. Mm -hmm. I'm actually I'm actually looking at it right now. It's um, I'll give you a little guys a little bit of a, a rundown of it. Oh my god, dude! It's just a blue Mega Man. Okay, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mighty Number well, Nine. They got thirty sixty seven thousand backers, over th almost four million dollars in 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 pledge donations. Their goal is nine hundred thousand. Okay, dude, they went. <laughs> They got almost three million dollars more than they wanted initially. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to make this. Yeah, game. It, so it, this it, game. It they have video footage out already too. This game better be fucking awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm it's just saying. Be amazing. And is this is this for? And of course, it's a Japanese game because that's where every game like this is from. And it says basically classic Japanese side-scrolling action evolved and transformed by. Kiji and Fum, an all star team or veteran Mega Man devs. It's uh, KG Inafune. Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll say that KG Inafune. Um, it's just, uh, I, I can't wait. Um, Dude, I'm going to actually uh, look at some of the stuff and look at some of the videos after the, after the show uh, because I, that was my game back in the day. I, Mega Man was the shit. I, I think also, if I recall correctly, um, Inafune named his new company Cam uh, Comcap or something funny. Like a, uh, it was a stab Comcept. at Capcom. Comcept. Comcept. Yeah, that's it. Comcept. I mean, yeah, C O M C E P T. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I, I just find that so funny. It's like, ha ha, good job, but nice middle finger to Capcom. I mean, yeah, they just making some bad moves. It's like, ah, oh, Capcom, stop it. You gotta keep your key players. And that's one of the key There's, players that's kept him above water for how many years now? And they they fired him? Well, I guess because they don't consider the Mega Man games com huge commercial successes, but they're not high production value games either. So it's like they could churn them out, and, and, and it's a it's another revenue stream. So I, I never got that logic, but I don't know. Okay, name me one game, and I'm gonna. this is just going to be a thing. Chris, go ahead. Name me one game from Capcom. That has the some of the best graphics you ever seen, some of the, the the best whatever you ever seen. Resident Evil remake on the GameCube. Okay, Resident Evil versus this game right here. Uh, if, that game right there. If this game, okay, now if Mighty Number no. Nine had the amount of time and pr more than likely the money that went into Resident Evil, I can tell you this: it wouldn't be just a oh, it's an indie game. It's a it would be on the top shelf with everything else. It all depends on how much money. Of course, they only wanted nine hundred thousand dollars as a goal to start this game and get it done. I mean, they got three point eight million dollars, dude, just for Mighty Number no. Nine. So you know, right now, Concept USA LLC is gonna make their shit. They're gonna start. That's gonna be another another company that you're gonna we're gonna see good and I I believe really good future games out of in the future. Good future game. Yeah, I said that way wrong, but anyway, you guys know what I mean. Yeah. There's also a new Sonic game coming. I know, but don't look that don't look that up because <laughs> it'll make you cry over what they've done to Sonic. I've already cried. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The like last one I remember was what was it? Sonic Colors, and that was uh, interesting. That was a good game. Sonic Colors was good. Yeah, it was good. It's just. I don't know. I don't know why they can't make something more that like the. Um, I, I love the Sonic Adventure games and then what they were doing with that. Am I weird? I mean, I thought it was neat, especially when you could like take the uh, what are the the, the what are they call the Chobies or the Cho not Chobies. Chobies. I forgot what they were called. It was like something. It's Chobies, it but chows. it's it's the cho cho what? Cho Chobies. It was Chobies. Chobies. 
Chobai. Yeah, it's Chobi, but it's pronounced Chobai. So yeah, you you could take them with you and like uh, train them while you're on the road or whatever, or commuting or in the can, and then and then like race them and fight them and uh, it's, uh, so many cool things. And, and it was like it had the exploration, but it was it still had like the, the you know the the classic fast paced Sonic levels, you know. I thought it was cool, and then, of course, epic boss battles. You know, you have to have that in Sonic too. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just in the minority there. So, what, what, what else are you guys looking forward to? Anything else? Um, I'm really not. Um, you know, I've been I've been trying to uh, get more in depth in what's going on with Geeky Antics, and I'm really not. Uh, I got my three or four games that I'm going to play, and I'm just kind of not really paying attention to anything else. All I, I've been doing a lot of research on Assassin's Creed. Uh, to see if there's any cool unlocks or any cool stuff that's going to come out to where I go right to that thing and go get it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 my, my gaming play is definitely full, and as we're about to reveal, uh, Steam has yet another epic sale going on. <laughs> Don't. So, not yet. We're going to do that later. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, we'll talk about that in our deals for Cheap Bastards segment. But, uh, yeah, the backlog is going to get even more epic. But uh, I have a lot of money already. Let's just put it that way. Money I don't have. Yeah, money none of us have. <laughs> Definitely. Let's... So yeah, remember guys, uh, donate to uh, you can donate via our streams, uh, and uh, we'll have a we'll have a fundraiser for us poor podcasters and Twitch streamers on uh, geekyantics.com. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we will accept everything. Uh, we're not too proud to ask. Belly button lint is fine. Uh, chocolates. Uh, cat food, cat toys, silly hats, whatever, whatever you can spare, so we could, uh, so we could trade for the Steam games. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let me stop. But anyway, moving on uh, with the show. <laughs> well, yeah, for me, like uh, as far as stuff that's already been confirmed, and I'm looking forward to. Uh, I think Evolve is interesting. It's cool to see that concept come to console, so that's cool. Um, Dawn Gate. Another MOBA coming out. I love the MOBA space, so anytime I see new MOBA come out, I'm excited about that. And this one looks interesting. It's more class-based action. Um, it seems a lot more team-oriented, much like uh, Heroes of the Storm. So from what I saw the gameplay, Dawn Gate looks pretty promising. It looks like also that it'll be uh, Guardians of Middle-Earth without all the bugs. Okay, I love Guardians of Middle-Earth, but... Uh, Gosh, that game is buggy. It could be such a great MOBA, and 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 it's and it's pure action because it has controller support. It's like the, one of the only MOBAs I can think of that has controller support other than Air Mech. And but it's a pure MOBA, and it could have been so good. And uh, whatever, No Man's Sky intrigues me because it has that procedurally generated uh, thing going for it. Um, it looks neat. It might fill the Metroid va- uh, void for me. Because it's space. I like sci-fi stuff. So when I come to PC, I'll probably get that. <laughs> but as far as games that haven't been confirmed that I still will love, I'm still holding out hope for, I would like to see a new Soul Calibur, a new Dead or Alive. I haven't heard anything about that. Maybe I missed something. But here are games that I haven't heard. I, de- I know definitely nothing has been said about them, and people keep hoping. Well, at least I do. Battletoads, that's a, that's a classic series that I, I, I'm pretty sure Rare still holds the rights to, and they haven't done anything with it. Maybe because Microsoft we, has been cr- we, cracking the whip. <clears throat> we looked that up on an episode of Gaming Dead. Uh, Microsoft actually owns the rights to Battletoads these days. Cause, yeah, because Microsoft owns Rare, don't they? Yeah, well, a lot of the Rare properties went every which way when Rare act- when Microsoft actually acquired Rare. Mm-hmm. So, but Microsoft, they had, to, they had to battle somebody else for the Battletoads rights. There was, like, court proceedings and stuff. Yeah, I heard about that. Got but I know that Microsoft has it and not doing anything with it. I mean, people still like beat 'em ups. You know, they they had that. Uh, you know, the Castle Crashers was popular. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Scott Pilgrim that did well. Like, there wasn't a huge commercial success, but I know I know tons of people that got downloaded that game. I think there's still a place for beat 'em ups. You know, multi fun, good clean multiplayer action. You know, just beating up people, not 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 much thinking to it. Just a uh, nice visceral experience. Nothing wrong with that. So I would love to see Battletoads. I, lo- I, lo- I love Battletoads. Uh, just don't do the crazy rat race level again, because that that ruined my life. <laughs> if anybody played that on an NES, 
if you haven't played that, and it's it's like some kind of cruel punishment to do the rat race thing. But uh, but uh, another one that people have been definitely asking for is Half Life uh, Three. And it doesn't seem like it's ever going to happen. Convolve is kind of like they're focusing on the Steam machine, Steam OS, and, of course, uh, you know, Steam Marketplace and all that good stuff. And it doesn't seem like they're doing anything other than, that, like, you know, Left 4 Dead and whatever else they have going on. Half-Life 3 is confirmed that it's in the works. Yeah, but they still won't confirm when it's going to come out or anything. They'll leave you us hanging. Exactly. But listen, guys, I'm going to have to bow out. My back's really starting to hurt, and i got to lay down. So I'm I'm sorry to to bow out like this. I made it as long as I could. You 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 had a good run. This is this is uh we're for, we're for very insane people here at Horseplay. But you know what? Before you leave, why don't you plug your stuff real quick? Like, um, <laughs> like I said, you guys can catch us uh, the Gaming Death Podcast every Thursday at 9 p.m. E- e- uh, Eastern Standard Time or EDT, whatever you guys want me to say, uh, on Twitch.tv slash Gaming. Death or on twitch.tv slash um, make sure you guys go over to gamingdeath.com we work really hard that's my dream I've been doing it for the past two years I started it up on my own because I was sick and tired of all these gaming sites just getting paid for crap and pushing the same sh- crap down everybody's throats a lot more op-eds than uh, reviews and previews and stuff but that's about it and follow me on twitter at death of nation Word. Make sure you guys do that. The hardworking bunch of people. Maybe next time we'll maybe we'll do a special uh, episode where we uh, start a little early and we'll get Don on here too. Maybe maybe Caleb and Hollow Blade too. Yeah, that uh, I know Caleb might be able to because he's on the West Coast, so it's way early for him. That's true. Yeah, but thank you guys. You yo Horse Five, one of the best podcasts out there. I still listen every every freaking week just fyi and geeky antics is the bomb and thank you guys for <laughs> showing us the love hell thanks, yeah man thanks. we're glad thanks. to have you man. Thank, we, we, thanks for coming over to the network man. thanks yeah, for coming definitely. over man appreciate who's that. talking obi or yogi we're both Nobody. talking we were, we're both, both we'll be noobs but um yeah and from me thanks for coming to the to the network itself you know thanks for giving us a shot too i mean that's it's not just us it's you for making the move I love both you guys, well, you know that. I love you, Obi, even though I don't get to talk to you very much. You know that. We will you. do more. I guarantee you, man, we, we will have more talks here in the very near future. I have a lot more time on my hands, and we're going to do it. I just realized you couldn't see me. I gave you two thumbs up and then realized that you couldn't see me. <laughs> well, this is for you, then. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night, guys. See you, buddy. Bro. All right, I'm going to fix the cams while we're still talking. <laughs> um, looks like I don't have to, but we'll I, think I, re- I think I realized why I'm particularly louder today because I haven't changed anything other than the fact that blue knocked my windscreen off earlier, and I guess that actually doesn't make a difference because I'm not projecting my voice. I'm actually kind of quiet today compared to how loud I usually get, and I have my uh, my obs is at sixty five percent, but I want to impact the the skype call so i don't know how it sounds on the geeky antics stream but I, I apologize i'm gonna try to watch my my projection here and there but anyway i guess we should just move on because there's a lot of games i'm hopeful for like i'd love to see another Paz dragoon saga or Paz dragoon saga remake or guardian heroes but we could be here all night if we talk about games we wish would come out you ready yep i know you've been waiting go for it i haven't done it in a couple weeks dude I know. Go for and I, it. I did. I was playing League earlier, and I did it with the person that I was playing League with, and she laughed her ass off. So, I mean, she thought it was cool. So, here we go. Next segment is... Ah! Quickie. I got to get that recorded, dude. And this is the time for the quickie. Does her stone need a consistent influx of cards. Does it need to have new cards every other week, or does it have need to have something? Yo, give me your little five-minute spiel on this. Uh, what, do, what do you think? So, you know, I'm listening around to a lot of streamers and podcasters, and I'm not going to call anybody in particular, but, and you know, there's only a handful of us that are really dedicated to Hearthstone. We talk about it consistently. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're kind of like the brand ambassadors for Blizzard, whether we're paid or not for it. 
But uh, you know, Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty, <laughs> Call Curse of Next Ramis has not even dropped yet, and people are already hankering for more cards. And there, you know, I understand that the meta gets a little stale, but they gotta, you gotta be careful what you ask for. I kind of like the fact that they're not drowning us in, in new cards all the time. You know, the argument is that new cards will keep the game fresh and competitive, quote unquote. But I argue that's actually not true because it'll only be competitive for the people that can afford to put tons of time and money, money. into the game. Yeah. So, and, and Hearthstone is really a deck building game. It's a, it's a CCG that's geared towards more casual players. Now, there's really hardcore players that play it, but it's not meant for the people that are like magic players. I mean, magic, I think, ha I hated it for the longest because. It, was, it always felt like a cash grab. They were, you know, every few months, you know, they had new cards. And it was, like, not a, not like 30 new cards like they're going to do with Chris and Max Ramis for Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. They released, like, 100 cards or 200 cards. It's, it's crazy. And, it, and, and then they'll break the game, and then all they end up doing is banning stuff. Now, I, I, obviously, it's a digital game, so it doesn't have to deal with that kind of stuff. They'll just retool the cards. It's easier. But I think that it, the best thing they could do is release cards maybe every six months, you know, or, or just drip them to us little by little rather than overwhelming us with cards. I don't think we need a constant influx of cards to keep the game fresh because players will keep the game fresh when they when they figure, I'm going to do something that no one else expects and I'm going to break mm -hmm. the meta and just try to do something that, that people will say, wow, I've never seen that before. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't prepared for that. And, there's, and I think there's still, even with the current card set, there's an opportunity to do that right now. Right. Now, I can't wait for Chris and Max Ramis, but... You know, right. I don't feel like we need the new cards. Oh, fear the Jeff in in the house. This is a guy I just met him. I met him and his uh, girlfriend, uh, Kate, on my stream the other night. Awesome, awesome people, and particularly awesome because they like Doctor Who, and we're gonna be doing a Doctor Who mini series soon enough. Well, and and I agree with you too with the with the Hearthstone cards. Do I think that there needs to be there needs to be more? cards no 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 because what with what you said too i we can both have the same exact cards and i'm going to tell you right now we're not going to have the same exact deck okay uh we could both make shaman decks we can both make priest decks we can both make paladin decks whatever we want to make but i'm telling you right now with the amount of cards that are out there we can have two totally different decks now with what you say maybe you know maybe say you 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 work on a class and there's nine classes Okay, put a put a put a two or three cards out, you know, once a month, to where it's maybe a hunter class, a priest class, and a druid class, and then the next month you do a a, a, a shaman class, a hunter class, and a, a warlock, and then a, a warrior, you know, just do it like that, or do one class per month and just do one card. I mean, just so it's it's slowly, like you said, dribbling it to us, because if they go like they do with magic and insert like the hundred hundred and fifty cards. That's just people are gonna stop playing. I'm really sorry to say that, but people are gonna stop playing because there's too much to look at. There's too much to get. Oh, I I, I haven't been able to look at this stuff unless you're the diehard, you know, gaming like like you are. That's really loud, dude. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why the mic's so loud right now. But and, and and we just we we want to make sure that I mean this is just a little quickie, so it's not like something that we're going to be talking on forever. But I I really don't think just a whole bunch of new cards are going to make it competitive. Like Yogi said, the the players themselves make it competitive because they build their own decks. Um, now if you get into the arena where you actually go through and pick a card, pick a card, pick a card, of course, but you're going to get those card you're going to get those cards one way or another, um, if you have them in your and of course in your collection. So, I mean, there, there's just so many things that they could do with this game, but they have to be very, very careful on how they 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 extend the game or how they, they uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, how they how they act in the future with this game because they can mess it up very, very badly or they can make it very, very good. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but. Yeah, I, th I think that. You know, people are looking for answers in the wrong places, and I don't think cards are the answer for keeping the game fresh. It'll help, but they're not a, an answer on its own because it just introduces new things, and all it does 
you know, it just makes the 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 top players even better. It made the rich get richer and the poor get poorer kind of thing. So, you know, I, I I'm excited for Chris and Max Ramis, mm-hmm. but I just don't like the mentality that like we need a we need a constant influx of cards or they need to come out with cards all the time because otherwise the game will be boring. It's like I still find it fun. I'd play Hearthstone a lot more if I had the time. I'd be playing it practically twenty four seven. And I wouldn't get bored of it because there's just so many ways to play. I mean, arena is a fresh experience each time. So if you, I mean, I understand that people are bored with constructed, but there's arena. I mean, you know, I just don't. I don't like the mentality because the the oh, the the flooding with new cards has ruined so many card games. You know, uh, I just I don't I, I don't want it Hearthstone to become like Magic. Yeah, I think Magic is as great of a game it is. It's not for the average gamer. It's definitely not for casual types. It's just very exclusive and very elitist. Well, and you know what? With what was said before, and I, we, I think we talked about this at some point that with I don't play Magic anymore is because there's so many new cards that I have no idea what even they are. You know, when you started with it, I have there's a there's a gaming warehouse down the road from me. And every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, they'll actually have magic games or they'll have, you know, uh, one of the, you know, the card games. And I said, so when Hearthstone comes out and actually a deck of cards, you guys are going to play that too? What's Hearthstone? What? So then I got to explain it to them. I had my laptop with me. I said, here, guys, try a game, you know, play a game. They all took a turn. I was there for like two hours. And... And they were just playing games. I mean, this one guy, he's like, I'm, I got to go. I was like, dude, where are you going? You're not done yet. He goes, I got to go download this. I got to go. I'm like, dude, score. <laughs> you know, so um, everybody. I mean, even if it's not, even if I hope it, they make it a hardback game. But, I mean, how much time and money is that going to be involved in, really? Yo, to me. I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they will just because they already had the, the Warcraft card game before. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they're still doing it. I think what makes Heart so special is that it's only it's strictly a digital game. Like a Shadow Era is another one, but Shadow Era has actual published cards. So when you have the actual physical cards, it makes it harder for you to adjust the cards. Because mm-hmm. what are you gonna do? Recall the old ones and you know ban the old ones? I mean, well, how does that work? So you have to balance everything and test everything out before you publish it. And then if you realize it's still broken or people exploit it somehow and it just isn't fair. You know, you end up banning it, and it's just, you know, it's it's a very rough thing. So I like it where it's at, you know. Um, I, I I think that the beauty of it also is that the fact that they that aren't overcomplicating the cards with a lot of flavor text and crazy mechanics, they can make it, they can keep it fast-paced because, you know, magic ma- matchups can take a long time. Yu-Gi-Oh! matchups can take a long time. Just about every TCG, CCG Mm-hmm. It, it, it's very complicated. You take long turns sometimes because you're trying to figure everything out. And, and Hearthstone is a little faster because there's not so much going on. You know, some subtleties you have to think about, but you know, it's 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 meant to be a faster paced game and a more casual game. I think it's good where it's at. And you know, when they release the card, the thing should be every, it should be meaningful setups and not just you know throwing more stuff at us to make more money. You know, I don't want it to be a cash grab like a, a lot of these other deck building games have become. Definitely. Well, and, and we just got to see what's going to happen, too. I mean, it, they could do it. They could just blow us, blow our minds and make a, you know, a hardback uh, cover of the game. I mean, and then just say, you know, hey, this is how it's going to be. But that will rise another question. Will that ruin Hearthstone? I mean, I kind of think it will. And I, from what Yogi's saying myself, I kind of think he thinks it will ruin it, too. Um, it's it's all it's all what we're gonna do. I mean, it's all what we're gonna see. The future's coming. The future's not said yet. So we just gotta fi- figure out what's going on and and work with it. Exactly. That is the end of the quickie. Of course, it is a quickie. That's what it's hard for. <laughs> That's what it's hard for. Somebody said in chat, quickie. Yes, fast and hard. That's what we do. That's my specialty. Fast and hard. The dust. <laughs> really? That was a good laugh. Right at the end, right there. The dust off. Back to the games. Yogi, what are you dusted off this week lately? 
Not too much, but I think this weekend, once the new site is up, I'm gonna just gonna do like a sample Saturday of slash official dust off thing. I'm gonna like use the, the hashtag dust off or the, the dust off, maybe both. Maybe get that trending, and I'm gonna try to play a lot of different games that, that we need to get back into, like Air Mac, um, Daisy, FTL, because the advanced edition dropped. Uh, typing of the dead overkill because that game is hilarious. But I gotta make sure if I'm gonna upload it to YouTube, I'm gonna, I gotta disable the music because you know, even though it's the in game soundtrack, they might be like, oh, it's right, right, copyrighted material. Yeah, dude, Twitch has been going cr or uh, YouTube's been going crazy on that lately again. Yeah, so even though it's I'm, actually in game and you, you know, you pay for it when you buy the game, right? Yeah. But you don't pay for the right to share that with others. So it's like, oh, come on. I'm giving this company free marketing. You know, someone sees this game, they find it fun, and then they end up buying it. It's it, it it's way more than I'd be getting for someone watching an ad or, you know, it's it's stupid. Right. Well, and then, too, like we, we discussed this, I mean, a couple months ago, where if they keep act up doing that and acting up like that, myself like people like myself you even the big established streamers that have thousands of sub subs they're gonna stop playing these games and say okay you don't want me to stream it because i make money this is how i live then i just won't play your game yeah then what are they gonna do okay you guys can do it well it's too late now we're already playing something else yeah youtube is still for like people doing gameplay videos it's just so not even really worth it unless you already are established because you know, you got to edit the video and make sure that it's up to YouTube standards. And, you know, you're spending more time editing videos and making sure that you stream the right games that are safe or don't put music or, you know, ah, it's too much of a pain in the butt. It's, it's a shame because I have so much stuff saved on Twitch that I would like to get up on my YouTube channel mm -hmm. and I Antics. You know, and I have to be mindful of it. But I, I am going to try to do that stuff. I'm going to probably do some, some more stuff over at the Geeky Antics channel so we can get some more gameplays on there and some variety. But uh, but yeah, I have played a lot of Soul Forge, which is another card-based game, and I've been enjoying that. I've actually scored some more legendaries on that game. It's actually kind of sad. I've actually been scoring more legendaries on Soul Forge as of late from free packs than I have on Hearthstone, and I've been uh, lately I've been putting a lot of time into Hearthstone, and I feel like the drop rate on Soul Forge has gotten better, and Hearthstone not so much, but. That's a whole other thing. Maybe I just got unlucky. But I did get another legendary on uh, Hearthstone, so that's good. Of course, I've been playing Hearthstone. <laughs> I did dabble a little bit with uh, Smite. Uh, I got I to gotta play the game some more. We got to do that. We, we got to play that game some more. Still playing Marvel Puzzle Quest with uh, Chip and Gang. Uh, Neo Jake's with us on the team, too, from uh, Gaming Death Podcast. Um, and I've been playing a little more DS. I was playing uh, another card game. I, I'm loving the card games, man. I played some of the Yu-Gi-Oh games on the DS and uh, SNK versus Capcom Card Fighter, and I also played the Marvel trading card game they have on there, which I think is really good. It has some cool game mechanics. But uh, I've been recommended, and a few people have told me that I should try out Clash of Titans on the uh, on the tablets. Uh, it's on both Android and uh, and iOS. It's, dude, yeah, don't. It's a waste of your time. Really? I, I, I play it on my cell phone. Ah. And it's one of those games to where, even on your tablet, it's one of those games to where you can only do so much. And then you go attack, do your thing. If you like that kind of game, I mean, it's okay, but there's really no strategy to it. You really just, okay, you're going to go do this. Oh, I'm okay, sorry. Attack this guy. Wait, I take that back. Not Clash of Titans. Clash of, Clash of um, Clans. Clans. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Clash of Clans. It's it's the mobile game? Yeah, it's the one for your for your cell phone, for Android. Hmm. See, I know. I think Jeff was the one that re that recently recommended it to me, so I'm a, I'm gonna try it out and see. I've heard mixed re reviews. Some people say it's good. Some people say it's bad. Um, but they they've done a lot of advertising, so they must be making money with it. Oh, it's. I'm not gonna say it's a it's a it's the worst game in the world. It's just like it's one of those things where there's really no there's no like st st just strategy i mean there's basically you just build up your army as much room as you have and you know you get, it's kind of like age of empires where you have to have enough houses for the people and then 
once your armory is full, then you have to build another one to make sure you can get more weapons or more guys or more soldiers or more rock guys or cannon cannoneers or whatever. It's just like that where you're building an army and then just going assault um, either the level one through whatever, how high ever the, the, the biggest one is, um, which is really good. But, I mean, there's there's quite a few games like that that are out right now. And there's one that I like because I like the show. It's uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Or it's like oh. it's it's actually dragons and it's rise of Burke, and if you can see it right there, you see the the little picture of um, toothless. So it's I like love a, toothless. yeah. So it's it's uh you know that is actually a cool game because you actually have to train your dragon and have him do things and it's kind of like uh, one of those pet games where you have to feed your your puppy or feed your puppy or walk your puppy, take it take it shit, do whatever you know, um, and, and it's. Fart Mobot. What? You're going, dude. <laughs> we can have the talk. They're getting, mad. They're getting mad at our bot because he's being. Mubot's really being mean tonight. I don't know why. Damn, Mubot's timing everybody out. What the? Because uh, I think it doesn't like when people do machine gun chat and they keep writing back to back to back. So space out your messages. It it it, it, it thinks that's spam right now. It's, it's, I think it was after they did the recent update to it, so I might have to change the the uh, spam controls on that, make it a little more lenient. But if you're a regular on the Geeky Antics channel, we could make you a VIP, and then Moonbot will be nicer with you. There you go. Well, there you go, yo. That game right there. Which one's that? Clash of Clans. Yeah, I don't have it installed anymore, but yeah, that's it right there. But you guys can check that out. Um, there's a few games I wanna that I've, that I've been uh, that I've been playing this week, and then there's a few games that I'm we're gonna start up as well. Yogi, I did get Smite fixed, um, and uh, I was playing it yesterday, uh, so we're definitely gonna have to play some. You guys want to play with us on Smite? You guys, let us know. We're gonna be putting it on the, of course, our our HQ right there at geekyantics.com. Just to you know, put up a, pick up some uh, play dates with the uh, fans, followers, uh, anybody that uh, wants to play, really. Um, and of course, uh, you guys do know that uh, um, there's a couple of new games coming out. Of course, I've been playing my League of Legends. Of course, uh, somebody did get me the Diablo three, uh, so I can't play it myself. And uh, Doc Row are going to be playing Diablo three and WildStar, so you guys can look forward to WildStar coming out which I am. Um, so we're going to be getting that. And then, of course, we've been playing Hearthstone and then Smite. So um, it's really exciting for me because I've just, you know, got a little bit more time to play the games that I want to play and to be able to play some games with Yogi and then and then you guys too, the fans. So um, that's that's really what I've been doing. And not really a lot. Um, but the other thing was making sure that I get this stream, everything audio fixed and everything, which, yay, we got to fix. So... Um, hopefully there's not too much more troubles. <laughs> yeah, today I'm the one that uh, messed it up. I'm apparently very loud because people say, oh, yeah, I think you need a windscreen with a pop filter. And I took the windscreen off. Well, actually, Blue did it for me. And yeah, it made a difference apparently because I wasn't being particularly loud. I haven't increased the gain on my microphone. Nothing has changed. You, but apparently I came in super hot. You want to know what funny part, you know, the happy part of my day is? Here, let What's me that? scroll back up. Obi, your sound is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, right there. Yogi, you sound like you're yelling through your mic, and Obi, your sound is perfect. Hey, I'm good with that. My <laughs> uh, mic's not even that close. I'm, not, I, I'm no, actually, this is one good. of my... This is one of my quieter nights. I'm looking at my sound levels, and I'm looking at the, the line go up on the mixer. I don't know what's going on. It's all good, Not man. Why. You can edit it's it. You can do something. whatever you want to do. Live, you guys got to remember, too, the live show is basically, it's live. I mean, we, you know, let's just, you know, with the being a little too loud or being a little too soft, we can turn up or turn down, but it's live, guys. Um, if you do want the, the edited version and the, the actual one that goes up on YouTube, it'll be up there tomorrow. Um just because, I mean, that's, I mean, this is live though. So you guys be a little patient with us, of course. So if we're a little bit loud, a little bit, uh, um, 
I mean, he always turns his up and down, and he's he knows what he's doing. So we're good, though. But, Yogi, I do want to ask you something. Does anybody have Hero of the Storm access yet? Um, I've played it. I do not have access right now, but I have played it. I told you this. But I'm working on that. My PR person contacted that Blizzard. I don't know what happened. I think she got killed or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that eventually. It's just my gaming plate is full now. Well, we, we, we haven't got it even into it yet. Did we even do it? Yeah, you know, we didn't do it yet. Oh my gosh! You what? Let's just let's just say it real quick. Shall we say it real quick? Uh, I, think, I know we're low on time. That's why. Say what? The deals for cheap bastards. Oh the, I, no, we're still on the dust off. Okay, but yeah, you, I know you have access to the Heroes of the Storm. Mm -hmm. How do you like it so far? It's okay. I think it's better than League of Legends in terms of... Oh, yeah. No, no, it's better than that. They have a lot of... And yes, this is something that I really... I don't know if I'm allowed to make videos or anything like that, but I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that I'm not. Um, people that's why have, there's nothing else. People have been streaming it. Have they been? I don't. I know you can... Well, okay, then I'll stream it then. Double check, because I know I've, I, I, that's also how I've seen so much of the gameplay. Mm -hmm. You know? So. But yeah, let us know, guys. Um, it's just, we, we, the games that are coming out, the games that we already play now, we love them. And that's why we play them. So you guys want to join us, you know, MOBAs. Um, that's the only thing I can remember of what kind of game it is. You know, you got strategy games, you got card games, which is part of the strategy, you know, League of Legends, Wildstar, you know, Heroes of the Storm, Marvel Puzzle Quest, everything and anything that you would like to play, more than likely one of us play it. And it's not just me and Yogi, guys. You got allgames.com, too. So there's a couple hundred people right there that play games without, you know, that we don't even know about. So you guys stay tuned for that. I don't know. Uh, we can do a quick uh, deals for cheap bastards because we just start a little bit late today. Uh, we got about fifteen minutes extra, so we're we're at about twenty minutes from from the end. Yay! Deals we actually... for cheap bastards. <laughs> if you're a cheap bastard like myself and the Zilla over there, we're both cheap as hell. We don't want to spend a lot of money on games, so you don't either. So this is what you guys do. Go to Steam. If you guys don't know what Steam is, Google it. Go to Steam. There's always sales, bonus adventures, bonus every, bonus footage, bonus, you know, downloadable content to where you, you'll never run out of games to play. You'll never run out of games to play, and you won't spend hardly anything. I mean, it's just, just awesome. Um, and, and there's a lot of things that we do. Uh, actually, that Yogi does, I'm going to be starting here shortly, that we do a retro Friday and Saturday, basically. It's not a retro Saturday, but it's retro Friday on Friday and Saturday. Playing the Steam games, playing those cheap games that you can either, it's either free to play or like a couple bucks. So that's something that we want to make sure that you guys get out and think. Xbox, oh boy. If you, I lost my spot, Yogi. What's free to play this weekend on Steam? Did you check it? I didn't see anything. I think because of the summer Steam summer sale, mm -hmm. they're not gonna probably do it because everything's like dirt cheap. They're like, screw free to play, buy some stuff. <laughs> right. Okay. So the the what he was talking, guys, the summer sale. Um, I I, I want to say I'm not gonna quote me on this, but over seventy five percent of their games is on sale right now. That's everything they have. Over 75% of their games are on sale for a Steam Summer Sale. There's a lot of different, like I said, bonus packs and features that you guys can get that you will not get after this ends. You will not get it after this. There's just something for summer that they're doing. So check that out, guys, if you want to get a bunch of free-to-play, free-to-play games. And, of course, not free-to-play, but really, like, expensive, more expensive games for really, really cheap. This is where you want to go. Um, there are a couple more that we have. The free-to-play weekends end on Sunday, usually at 1 p.m., but like we said, um, we don't really know what they're going to be doing right now. We will update you guys on that next week. Uh, Yogi, 
Do you have any any uh, anything you want to say about the cheap bastards besides the links below? So yeah, well, um, Steam. The cool thing about Steam is that they always do have some free to play games and some free games. So there's always stuff. If that you can actually search by price and find free to play stuff, and they got a ton of stuff. But with the uh, the summer sale, it's just they do ridiculous price drops. Like I'm talking about like. 50 to 90 percent off i mean they practically give away the games and i'm hoping uh one of the things is that you want to um, you want to look out for the voting thing that they do because you could vote they have flash sales and you could, it's community cho choice everybody votes on the group of game they want on sale and then they put it in. usually it's one game but this this was that steam light yeah, well, was, well, no, not the green, not the not the green light. The no. uh, on on this on the summer sale, you know how they, they used to let you choose one game out of like three or four. Mm -hmm. Now they're letting you choose a group of games that will go on sale, and out so of like it'll be like 50. two groups. Uh, the one I saw, the one I voted on last was like two groups of four games, and then whichever one the, gets the most votes. But I hope the one that's like uh, has the Le Dust Elysian Tail. And some other like uh, indie games and soundtracks will will make it because uh, I missed out on a lot of those games before. And one of them is Valdis uh, Abyssal t uh, City, which I have already, but I'll give the extra copy to someone. So there'll be more stuff to do giveaways with. So I love okay. these summer sales. We'll have stuff to do giveaways with. It'd be awesome. And yes, if anybody does want to play Wildstar, I will be giving away. I ha I'll have two or three beta key or keys that I can give away for the seven to ten day trial. So. I will give those away as soon as I get the game. Okay, now this is for everybody to to think about. We we're gonna I'm gonna put this on the website as soon as I get the game for Hearthstone, Hearthstone, for Wildstar. I am gonna give two of the beta keys away right here on Horseplay. Stay tuned for that. So if you guys are here or you guys are listening right now, be advised that we are going. I am or myself, Yogi and myself, we are gonna give away two keys to wildstar seven to ten day i think it's a ten day seven day trial but just so you guys can play the game and actually just see it so um and that's just because i love you guys i love you guys so much <laughs> all right anyway other <laughs> websites that you guys can check out cheap games i think i skipped some cheap game cheap shark.com slickdeals.net and I'm going to put all these in chat so you guys can see it humblebundle.com and you guys got to remember too with Humble Bundle if you guys go to the Humble Bundle store it's still 10% of all sales is going to charity so you guys make sure you guys check that out if you guys you know of course uh, all the websites are really good I was on almost all of these this week and they work they work really really well but if you do get from Humble Bundle and you go to go to the store 10% of the proceeds to the store goes to charity so that and that is confirmed and of course origin.com US free stores free games and it's on the house so you guys can check that out I'm gonna put all these right now in chat which Yogi did not so I'm gonna do it and um, you guys just check those out. It's a lot of free stuff that you guys can actually check out. And it's not just, it's just like Steam. It's it's free to play. Oh, what the? Oh, there it is. It's free to play, plus there's games that are actually just really, really cheap. So, you guys go ahead and check that out. And, of course, oh, there's another one right here. Um, Abandonia.com, CoolRom.com, and BestOldGames.net. That's the last three. You guys go check that out just to get your uh, get some cool games. And while we don't condone pri you know piracy for you guys to just get them from the 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 internets, interwebs. They are completely games. They're completely free to do to the abandonment and licensing developers. But I mean, you guys, we don't condone it. I mean, we I, I want to buy. I want you to buy everything. That's you know. But of course, if you do it, that's on you. Um, but use these sites at your own risk. Um, I've been on them several times, and I have no problem with them. But, again, if you don't have something up and you don't have a blocker on or you're anti-spyamware or where malware is not working and you get freaking bombed by, by the website, it's not our fault. So at your own risk, guys. So We do have some information. 
We have some community events and giveaways information. I know Yogi's been excited about this just because we're just we're rocking, guys. Yogi, what what community events and uh, and uh, slash giveaways uh, we get information we got today? Well, we were gonna tease the uh, sp- the pillows and show them on the stream, but I think we'll save that once we get some more things in uh, in order with the new site geekyanswers.com. But uh, Stan did get a bunch of Hearthstone pillows. They look comfy. And uh, you probably don't want to sleep with them. You probably want to have a decoration. They're like throw pillows. But we're going to have door prizes for the upco- upcoming Hearthstone tournament. But probably before that, I-, I would like to set up like a ladder, like an ongoing leaderboard for Hearthstone so people can keep playing each other. Kind of like game battles used to be before it became crap with all the pro players and uh, drama and everything. Uh, I don't know if anybody remember game battles.net before it became like this big MLG beast. But uh, it used to be cool because you would go to the website. It was an honor system, but you know, two te- each team leader would go in or each player would go in and submit their scores. And then if it matched up, the you know it would get uploaded and counted towards their overall records. And then people would move up and down the leaderboard. And it was very simple. That's kind of a thing we want to do. So that's coming up. Uh, definitely want to do more game nights. Uh, League of Legends definitely is up there. Uh, you know, I, I love doing Hearthstone, but it's, you know we can't get that many people playing at once, so it's not as good. Smite definitely would be good. Air Mech is another good one, and that's free to play, so everybody can play it. I mean, the, the Smite too. Smite's free to play as well. So if you've got those games, you know, hit us up at Geeky Antics on Twitter. Uh, hit me up at Yogizilla. Hit Obi up at Obi One X Two, and uh, we'll set them up. Uh, and we'll start schedule. We're gonna start scheduling them ahead of time once we get more feedback people see what they want to play and then we'll get those going um what else we're assembling also an official stream team so if you have a twitch channel and you want to collaborate do dual streams multi streams whatever cross promote we're going to be doing that you know it's kind of forming an alliance to help each other out build each other up you know when we're not, when not you know whenever one person that's streaming they can go to the other person's channel and vice versa just help each other out like that and just plug each other during our streams stuff like that um, and that's already happening now, but we're going to do more of that. Um, and, of course, you know, we're doing the Yotai, Y-O-H-T-A-I, which is Ye old Hearthstone Tavern and Inn, which is our, you know, it's our way for, uh, for people to connect with each other on Hearthstone, exchange their battle tags. I'm surprised it's not a thing. There's not a, a battle tag exchange out there, but we, we made it a thing. So if you don't mind having your battle tag out there, you can put it in there. Uh, you also get, you know, we're doing like the week. It's pretty much been weekly newsletters for Hearthstone, or bi-weekly, um, and uh, just trying to get some more Hearthstone fun going, and you know, keep it fun for everyone, everyone, no matter how competitive or casual you might be. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And I stand, stand Farina, F, you know, at Farina, F A R Y N A, is the main guy, uh, part of Gigi team that's uh, spearheading that. So uh, yeah. Definitely. Well, lost track, but yeah, definitely. We're um, like I said, we're like uh, Yogi said too. We're we're just trying to do as much as humanly possible with you guys. Um, we don't care about all the you know when you come into a channel and you're like, hey, don't even try to link anything because if you do, I'll ban you. Well, no, no, no. We don't care about that. We're here to help people. We're here to get help from other people. It's not it's not something where we're just going to blow up and everything on somebody just because we want to. No, it's, this, is a, this is a network to help people. This is a, a group of people that want to help each other and want to just be involved in, in everybody's stuff. It's not to try to take anybody over. It's to, to be involved. So that, and that's what we want. And that's why we, that's why we created Geeky Antics is because that's what it's there for. Yeah. For rizzles. For rizzles. It's about that time, big guy. I know, I know. So let's do it. I'm, I'm, I'm sad right now, dude. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast. <laughs> and yes, guys, it's at the time of the show where it's really sad to say, but it's about time to get off here. We do have a specific time we have to keep it under. If we don't, we get in trouble. So, yeah, we don't want old Mister uh, TC coming after us. That might, that might hurt a little bit. You know, <laughs> Tim Curtis. Anyway, shameless plugs and outros. You guys, make sure you guys check out thegeekyantics.com. 
And of course, the YouTube pages, I'm sorry, the stream pages of Obi-Wan-X2, Yogizilla, and right here at Geeky Antics. Okay. Um, let's keep the conversation going, guys. See if you guys want to give us a, send us a voicemail. You guys can do that. 206 415 4987. And you can email us if you're just shy and you don't want to hear your voice. You can email us at mail at geekyantics.net. I know .net, .com, they're all getting confusing. Believe me, Yogi had to explain it for about a half hour, 45 minutes to me earlier. Because I was like, I'm on .com. He goes, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Then I look and I'm on .net. So anyway, let's just keep it going. Keep it short and we'll play right here on live. And of course, the emails, if you guys want to, the, the different topics, anything like that. Make sure you guys let us know. Just be so, you know, maybe we might not have something to talk about or a title or something like that. We might take it from you. And, of course, if we do use any of your topics or total titles or anything that you guys send us, we will shout you out on Horseplay here. Whew, that's a lot. Horseplay Live is everywhere. <laughs> You can get podcasts, guys. Please leave us some reviews and favorite. Subscribe on iTunes and Stitcher. It really helps us out. Even though you guys don't think it does, it really helps. One like is more than you think. More as listeners means bigger promotions, i.e. giveaways, community play dates, and just events. Also, give us a tons of thumbs up on Stitcher so we can show up more in search results and as we grow the gang and all games community. So, you guys, give us that thumbs up. Like I said, you don't think it helps, but it really does because the more thumbs up we get, the, the higher at the top of the list we are when somebody searches horseplay or even geeky antics. So, help us out with that, too. Of course, wow lost it big shout out to our new flagship show right here at geekyantics.com the gaming death podcast you guys did talk to chris just a few few moments ago he had a little back issue to get out of here but you guys check that out and that's at 9 p.m on thursdays they're going to be over and they're actually going to be casting on twitch.tv forward slash gaming death every thursday is at 9 eastern and hopefully simulcasting right here on geeky antics channel as well Right before our show is when they play. It's 9 p.m. I, I, yeah, I totally screwed that up. Um, we are super stoked to have Chris, Don, Caleb, and Hollow. I said it right this time, to join the gang. Welcome, guys. As always, you guys are very much loved, and uh, uh, we love you, of course. No homo. Um, <laughs> but you guys can check Sorry. You guys can check out our friends right here. We're the opponent. Not right here, but allgames.com. We're the opponent. 42 level 1 gaming history 101 the shield cast wait that's like no the b team podcast r9 cast knuckleballer radio pixelated pints which is yogi zilla's new show he hasn't said nothing about it but i'm gonna say something about it you guys haven't checked out the pixelated pints you guys need to check it out it's funny no that's that's fred rojas's show what He's did pixelated. i say what did i say you yeah, you said me. Oh, yeah, no, no, not Yogi, Fred's. Wow. Anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I check out. It was mine. Yeah, well, it's 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 pixelated pints with Fred Rojas. You guys check that out. Zombie cast, Agents of Shield, cast, Fantastic Forum, Sega Nerds, Castuberus, Doctor Who, podcast on the All Games Network, and all and allgames.com. And, of course, the gang. Other places where geeky goodness can be found, let them know. Obi and Yogi sent you over from Horseplay, and uh, they'll say hi. Let them know that you're a part of the... <laughs> let them know that you're a part of the Horseplay Geeky Antics family, and they will extend their hands to you and, and pull you right into the All Games family. So, Yogi, do we have any future episodes that we're, uh, we've been talking about lately? Yeah, nothing uh, set in stone with the uh, with the episodes. So if you have topic ideas, you know, uh, just email us, mail at uh, geekyantics.net, uh, tweet us at geekyantics, uh, or catch us uh, through the website. We have forums on there, geekyantics.com. And again, to to lighten the confusion, geekyantics.com is the beta site. Geekyantics.net will eventually point to geekyantics.com. So. They'll eventually be the same website. But just right now, since we're trying to transition everybody over, I'm just saying go to geekyantics.com and eventually geekyantics.net and geekyantics.com will become one and the same like the Matrix baby that has the Kung Fu grip. (laughs) 
had to throw he had to throw you a curveball. And Chris, would... would you like to plug your stuff too? Well, yes, yeah, Obi, thank you very much. No, I'm just playing. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do this voice. <laughs> you guys check out what Chris would say. Check out the Gaming Death Podcast at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday nights. And it's like it's like we said before, it's right before horseplay. And um, hopefully next week he'll be simulcasting on Geek Antics so you guys can watch that. And then you guys get to watch us again. Yay! Of course, make sure you guys check it out Sundays, 9 a.m. I know it's early. Don't slap me. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a, a talk show that uh, Doc Rowe Games and myself, we have we have actually started this on Sunday morning. It's actually for the EU crowd. So Sunday morning at 9 a.m. I know. 9 a.m. Eastern Time. You guys can check us out. It will be with Doc Rowe and Obi-Wan X2. And it'll be right here on Geeky Antics. And it's called the Sunday Dose. So you guys come check that out as well. If you guys want to, we're just going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to get into really deep into the LCS EU. And, of course, Diablo Wildstar and all the other good games that are coming out. Um, and just kind of concentrate on you guys over in the EU, over in Europe. So, Last but not least... Thank you very much, everybody, and anybody that has come to the show tonight. We do want to give a special shout-out to Fear the Jeff, Maiden Shy White Wolf, and, of course, our very own Stan the Man Farina. Not Panda, welcome, and thank you for coming out. Anybody else that I did miss, thank you very much for, for Muffin Mans, of course. Three, one, two, three, and, of course, Moobot, you're being an ass. Thank you very much for showing up yourself. I know that was, like, retarded, but this is <laughs> Obi-Wan X2, my counterpart right there, Yogi Zilla. We'll make sure you guys, we'll see you guys next week. Peace! Hootie hoo! Yeah, hootie hoo. That's what it is.